my goodness. So many squares here. <laughs> Only needs two more. We could have a game show. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to just another episode of Tales of the Dawn Vale. Nothing different. Whole... Everything is as it always has been. Yeah, the whole <laughs> Breakfast Club is here. Um, let's get to intro new friend. Maybe in chat. No. Is there a new friend in chat? Yeah, who are you oh. talking about? Sharky Chomp Chomp. That's a great name. Hi, Sharky Chomp Chomp. <laughs> Wait, where is that? I just where put some friends in chat. That's what it is. That, hey, they're talking yeah. about they're a bunch of talk, friends. Yeah. Proactively talking about friends. That's what it was. <laughs> I'm so oh happy God. we have Hello, so many friends. Sharky Chomp Chomp. <laughs> it's, it's a great, great name. name. It is. It's a pretty cool pretty. name. We got a lot of cool names in the community. We got Sharky Chomp Chomp, No Father Pee Pee Face. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> it's I one think of those that's my names. favorite one. Yeah. It's, it's, it's one of those names where, like, mm. even if you shorten it, you're not quite sure which bit to shorten it to. It's like, do you go No Father or do you just go Pee Pee Face? <laughs> <laughs> or Father Pee Pee. Oh, no, son it's of mine. Cool Clean yourself up. <laughs> Such yes. fatherless behavior. <laughs> oh, another vow classic. Um, so we are here today to play some more D and D with the Breakfast Club, and we're gonna we're gonna introduce everyone in a normal order today, huh? Hmm. No, no categories, because I have a different kind of a different kind of spicy for today. Well, <laughs> considering where we're starting, um, <laughs> so we will go along the line. As per usual. So we will start with the one, the only, Luto Bayani, played by JC. Hello, it's me, JC. I play Ludo. He is a cleric who likes to eat uh, monsters. And I totally came up with that idea by myself. And uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't, what even is anime? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> who? Huh? Anime? Not heard of her. Yeah, sounds nice. <laughs> She's not in the Breakfast Club. Um. <laughs> uh, Y'all talking about me? I'm anime. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> How did you steal my voice? How did you do that? <laughs> Next up. <laughs> I need to do Whatever do you mean? I don't know what you mean. Uh <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Next you two can buy an NPC and name her anime. There mm. we go. That's the solution. Mm. Um, next up, we have the ever memorable, ever heroic Tarquin, played by the similarly memorable, similarly heroic Darian Audio. Hello, everyone. I'm Darian, and I'll be playing the part of Tarquin. You know, the ever charming and notorious monk who may believe that he's the best fighter in the world, but, you know. A very humble individual, as always. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> as, always, just, Probably the best just, at being humble. I think mm -hmm. the, yes. the most... He has to be the best at everything, you know. So. Yeah, the, <laughs> more humble than any of us could ever dream of being. Um, next up, we have Beef Bifon the Stairs. Mm. Always have to just say with a little bit of Bifon the Flares. Um, we have Dime Package! Hello, Dime Package, playing Bifon Thistales. And I'm very much looking forward to today's shenanigans. Um, it's a bit of a crowded house here, though, so I'll let yeah. everyone else introduce themselves. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Hi. It's, it's as crowded as it usually is, I think. Mm -hmm. is, you know, yeah, it's um, as crowded as different. it's always been. I mean, no the frog is here, here now. A frog. Oh, that's true. Mm. Yeah. We need. She takes a lot of space. voice now, apparently. <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have the wonderful, the magical fairy camellia, played by equally magical Rubes. Hi. I'm Rubes. I make stuff. Including my little sun satyr, <laughs> Ranger Camellia, who is from the Fey Realm and has a big old frog named Winnie. Hell yeah. And of course, last but not least, y'all know him, y'all love him, fan favorite, 
of the entire series, I think it's safe to say. Yeah. We have, you Probably. already, I don't need to say the name, you already know who it is. It's Danny, played by the wonderful Val Fierce. Hello once again, Val, how's it going? It's going all right. Hello everybody, I'm uh, Val Fierce, and I'm playing Danny the Dapper Dwarf. It's nice to meet you. Me? What nice, there, nice to be back. Nice to be mm -hmm. here always. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome always. back. Nice yeah. to always be here. Yeah. Always here. Welcome. I never leave. He's <laughs> <laughs> just in here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always waiting. He was here before always. session zero. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The before days. <laughs> But, um, yes, welcome all of you lovelies as well. Instead of an order, I present a challenge oh. to you uh -oh. all today. Mm -hmm. You see, a character you will meet today was named by none other than Mama DM, the original DM. Well, not the original DM, she, I, don't, I don't think she understands what D&D &D is. But... Our own Mameriki, my, my lovely mother, has named oh. a character. Aww. So, if you are able to guess which NPC Mameriki has named, you will get a point of inspiration. Yeah. So, you Lord will have Winter to be Hufflebottom. quick. <laughs> you, will, you will have to even be guess quick the off the mark. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> That that is that is the challenge set to you and chat as well. You may join in as well. I, um, I will grant you just worldly inspiration. I I can't guarantee it works, <laughs> but I can sure as fuck try. Um, it totally works. I walk around with a D four all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this would be a D ten of inspiration. I'm not fucking around. Oh, um, Ooh, bringing that to the DMV. <laughs> but, so when, as soon as you hear an NPC name and you think it's an American classic banger, um, immediately be like, DM! That's it. That's the one. Don't wait, because someone might beat you to it. So we should say it like, you know, they say objection? Just, DM! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or just be like, that's Key's mom! Just, just yell that. I think that works just as well. I think that. Mama Rocky. <laughs> oh, did you just drop love... a little clue? Is it named after them? It's not. It's not named after my mom. No. Okay. That would... Okay. That. She, she ain't that kind of lady. <laughs> I'm like, mom, do you want to name a character? I want to name her me. I want to I, name her. I, I really <laughs> think we do need to have a character named Mamaraki, though, just for reasons. We'll, we'll see. We'll I do we'll like this alternate help. spelling. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Mamaraki. <laughs> Mamaraki. Um, but yeah, if you suspect a character of, of being named by my mom, just, just yell out, that's Key's mom. It might just be me being annoyed with you. Be like, DM, <laughs> your mother. <laughs> oh! <laughs> also valid. Um, I will accept either of those. Um, if you dare to, if you dare to say that to me, dice master. Um, but yes, no, I'll accept either of those because that's funny. But in the meantime, let's welcome all the. I mean, if you make an Uncle Xing Zhong again, I'm, I will say that. <laughs> <laughs> he he died. He died. I think the resurrection yeah. in this world. So afraid mm -hmm. of. <clears throat> Nobody comes back from the dead. Definitely nope. not. Sign. Um, but yes, let's Danny's just say hello to the Danny's always been here. Uh, say hello to the wonderful lovelies in chat. Hello, lovely, wonderful lovelies in chat. Speak now or forever hold your peace as we enter the immersion zone of we will read chat but not out loud but we do see you and we do love you sharky chomp chomp uh, it had to be repeated hello subdued use hi rooms. chat <laughs> hi remember to say hi to your fave danny <laughs> <laughs> um zombies me <laughs> thank you so much for the 2000 biddies you crazy you crazy v but thank you so much feel better v. yeah mm -hmm. whether you guys have had a great week or a sad week hopefully we can be here entertain you a little bit tickle them tickle them funny bones that sounds weird i'm not gonna say <coughs> that again um and tickle. Tickle. <laughs> you leave their funny bones alone <laughs> and provide some entertainment 
Um, and then JC said, I've heard of him, I think, before. Huh? Um, Full name. <laughs> um, oh, Kimeriki, that's a new one. Hello. I um, heard she's really cool. Oh. <laughs> awesome, Mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that I will agree with. <laughs> um, Rogue's a, just a fucking critical attack for Rubes. <laughs> <laughs> She's great. It's <laughs> 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 British person's weakness. Um, <laughs> Scorpio, hello, and thank you for holding the fort down. Mod love. Mod love. love the mods. Um, we have Roxory. Epic Gaming Jams. Yeah, good ear. Epic, Epic Gaming Jams just comes here and plays, gets the soundtrack every week, and I love that for them. <laughs> <laughs> You're accurate. Um, <laughs> uh, we have all the finds, all the finds. Pam Town, Pam Town, beep beep. Got vividly. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> got Sir Valpius, a new uh, familiar face in chat. Hi, I'm Danny. We know Val. That's a good bit, though. I like that. Um, <laughs> hello, also to Lexi2046 from the future. Um, Lexi, you are also great. Thank you so much. Um, yes, yes, yes. Okay, that is what. Okay, yes, hello, welcome. Are you guys excited for the day? Is everybody excited for the day? So no. excited. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Very mixed bag of reactions, and I fully get it. Oh, you know what I... car Y reference? Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Hopefully they heard me, and we'll probably answer in chat. <laughs> reply. Send your replies. Um... Say it back. I carry your vision. <laughs> but... Um, I just realized I didn't write an introduction, so what a perfect time to start our session for the day. <laughs> nice. And thank you, Pam, for the hunted biddies! Slipping, slipping that in there before we get started with the section. Um, I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> there's no other way to say it. Mm. There, no, there's not. Um, and music. Don't, don't you fight me today. I need you on my side. It wasn't me, I promise. No, I know you're good. You're good. <laughs> it was totally it was... him, teacher. <laughs> How dare we all, you? We all know Danny's shenanigans this far into the campaign. Of We're all familiar mm -hmm. with of them. Course. Classic <laughs> Danny. <laughs> I feel like I'm being pigeonholed. <laughs> <laughs> so, where we last left off, the group made their way to the Xinhua viaducts um, and the city of Xinhua. It's known as both. It has viaducts. It is a city. There you go. Uh, to see if they can wrap up a couple of loose ends, both for their own personal quests and also for the Espers, the group that they are a part of, thanks to the Guildhall mistresses, queens of uh, Ninut. They're not actually queens, but we just we stand the queen, and they are queens. Um, Mistress Atirian Air and Ixit Imbolt. Um, Danny knows all about them. And <laughs> and uh, their mission from them was to go and meet with a potential new member of their organization that will help them with any requisitioning tasks and uh, bits that need doing and the paperwork, effectively. Uh, as well as their own personal goal, of getting their lovely, f no longer dead friend Luca to the waters of the Xinhua viaducts in order to fulfill an agreement dealt with Actilina, a deity of twilight and dusks. Now, now, here's the kicker. We knew Actilina to be demonic in nature, though a deity still However, after a run-in with the Verglar uh, Shrine, and indeed some less than friendly figures outside of the Shrine after escaping a almost watery grave, the group were con most of the group were contacted by Harpesh, the 
um, deity of taking a secret to the grave. Uh, the group agreed to another deal, whereby they would, um, in return for one of Harpesh's secrets, they would give them some secrets of their own. It was a slight, it was a bit of a scrape together of all the loose change secrets the group had, but it was successful and it was done. The secret being, dun dun dun, that Actilaneth is technically an enemy to the group. For the enemy are Espers, and the Espers' goal are to find and incapacitate, let us say, uh, any who would abuse the arcane of this world or another in order to become as a deity. Not an actual deity, but kind of a pretend deity without following the rules and regulations apparently deities have to go through for like not just murdering everyone at any given opportunity. Now, Akilana, it turns out, is an altar which is one of these fake deities. Which is, again, something the group is trying to prevent um, the spread of. They are trying to stop altars in their track. Which leaves them at a bit of a conundrum, considering in exchange for Luca's life, they agreed to take her to these Jinhua viaducts and complete whatever Luca was required to do. Will the group adhere to these rules? Guess we'll find out. But in the meantime, the group arrived, had a nice little wander round, found out a lot about all of the very business savvy uh, religious groups who were trying to recruit people into their uh, various B&Bs <laughs> uh, their Airbnbs and hotels and also you know try and sell a little bit of the gospel to them and so the group decided to spend their days at the sanctuary one of the uh, probably conventionally lesser holy places in the city uh, which is a brothel and uh, rooms for accommodation. And the group got a bargain deal for three nights. Any of the, um, well, what's the word? I guess any of the entertainments they could ask for, as well as meals and access to the bar and lounge. And thus the evening continues where we left off. So join us, immerse yourselves as much as you like, or as little as you like, if for indeed we are in a brothel, we will, you know, consent is important. <laughs> but please do join us as we start today's episode of Tales of the Torn Veil! Vale. <laughs> so, we're going to start off as we always do. Um, we have... Uh, Umberlai in their shared room with Ludo, who is seemingly planning something. <laughs> um, the rest of the group kind of just taking in the surroundings, taking in the lounge, um, both friends and Winnie being fawned over by the workers in the bar area. And coming in from a long day's work after a few weeks at this establishment, um, Oh, we've got a a very familiar n new friend here. Wait, have we been have we been charmed? Um, uh, Val, would you like to let everybody know who walks into the brothel for us? Sure, a very snazzily dressed dwarf <laughs> in a nice, very purple suit, wearing a big old purple hat with a vibrant green beard. He just kind of stands at the door for a moment, kind of take, takes in the sights, and then goes to sit down at a table. Amazing. Um, I suppose... I don't, I don't know how much he stands out. <laughs> um, <laughs> less so in a brothel. More so in the city at large. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but the very elegant uh, costumed... 
Danny the Dapper Dwarf uh, comes into the sanctuary, uh, chilling out at a table in the lounge. Uh, you see um, good friend uh, from your stay, um, Axbly Endeltheim, working at the bar. He is a half Goliath man, kind of dark beer and hair tied up in a neat ponytail looks like he would be more of a barbarian than a than a worker at a at a uh, establishment such as this um but he he is you know he cleans up pretty well and as, uh, as always i eye his ponytail with envy <laughs> he kind of squints squints his eyes at you a second but you know kind of just nods and gives you a wave yeah hey, good uh, good day today danny and I was all right. Ah, uh, good, good. I've uh, got some more uh, customers in there if you want to try uh, any of your business stuff with them. Ah, uh, point the way. Um, Danny, and also indeed Breakfast Club. We both take in each other as this scene unfolds. Um, Happy Valentine's Danny. Day. <laughs> God damn it. Nice one. Um, Danny, you see a um, slightly rotund human man with a big scarf and chef outfit. Um, okay. You see uh, a half drow man with a monk outfit on and very beautiful silver hair. Just. You thought, you thought the Axe Please hair was nice? This whoa, this guy has got just silver woven locks. I just, hate him already. Just dying to be <laughs> traded for. <laughs> <laughs> no, Not not again, right. please. <laughs> hey, we got some cake out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Um, hey. You see a fear bog man um, with kind of very nice bouffanty almost hair. Um, a lot of hair. Fearbogs are notoriously <laughs> hairy, um, with some nice leather armor on. Um, and you, as you carry on looking around, you make eye contact with the last of the people in this group. And Camellia, you too, look to Danny. What is going through your minds as you see each other? Just, just general surprise, really. <laughs> was not expecting to see Camellia here. Was not expecting to see Danny here either. Ah, Camellia, it's great to see you. Long time, oh. huh? <laughs> yeah, I've been a long while. What are you uh, d doing here? Ah, uh, just doing some selling, some trading, trying to find some decent stuff to take back home, you know. You know how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope business has been good. It's it's been all right. It's been all right. <laughs> the rest of you, um, they know each other. <laughs> you have never seen this dwarf man before. If you saw this dwarf man r walking down the street, you wouldn't be able to recognize him. You're sorry to that man, but they seem to know each other. Camellia. Yeah? Didn't you come from another world? Yeah, the, not another world, but the Fey realm. Yeah, yeah, like a whole other planet. But then how I, come you know him? Is he also from there? Yeah, uh, I know him from the Fey realm. He's uh, from specifically where I live, too. Oh. We've, we've bumped into each other a, a few times over the years. Mm -hmm. There's many of these. Oh. Oh. So, Camellia, who are your friends? Oh, uh, this is my team. We're the Breakfast Club. Uh, this is Ludo and Hello. Tarquin and Bifon. Hey. Uh, howdy, howdy. It's nice to meet all of you. So, do you eat a lot of breakfast? <laughs> yeah, every day. That's good. I, I never thought to form a club uh, surrounding that particular activity, but, you know, it's good thinking. Pancakes are great. Oh, man after my own heart. Do you like um... pancakes? 
Oh, and I... this is Umberlie too. Or is Umberlie there? No. Uh, no, Umberlie is okay. currently. Um, d there are leather sounds coming from the room uh, that she is in. <laughs> there is preparations going on. Um, Luca will kind of uh, head out of, uh, come out of her room and mm. see you all. Uh, hello. Uh, oh. Oh, and this is Luca. Uh, Luca, this is Danny. He's a friend of mine from the Fey Realm. Hello, Luca. Hi. Uh, it's good to meet you. Uh, what brings you here? It's, it's a small world. World. Realms. Uh, just some business. It's nothing to go on about. Oh. Uh, well, it's not nice to meet you um are you or um she kind of she kind of remembers she's in a, a brothel so when you say business she's just kind of like <laughs> trying not to overthink it <laughs> and she's just yeah mm, mm. um say does anyone want a drink um i'm gonna get some water all right well it was nice to meet you danny you said you're a businessman you do business I do. Do you, I, know, um, do you know a lot about the business here? Yes. Oh, good, good. Uh, I need to find <laughs> tickets to a theater. Do you know anything about that? Danny, you you would... Uh, oh, no, we don't need... We, that's not the music we're going for. <laughs> <laughs> Tanny, <laughs> you look into Ludo's eyes. Ah, uh, no. You... <laughs> this kiss, this kiss. <laughs> um, Tanny, you've you've been in town about a week or so. Um, mm -hmm. you would know that there is um a lot of business coming in from something. There's just more people here than people are used to. Hence, uh, the brothel opening up its doors to um extra visitors you also know that the Grand Genois Theatre um, seems to be a pretty hype uh, scene for these uh, humans <laughs> just the non fey just always group as humans um, I just think of them as the mortals <laughs> yeah the, the mortals um, they're pretty hype about it uh, there is a uh, seemingly very popular uh, concert on at the moment you were interested in being like oh there's business here unfortunately there were like that that business has been and gone like that that opening door like the tickets have been scalped the scalpers are doing their thing there is no kind of extra opening Oh, so so I tried get to get in, in on that scalping business, but failed. Absolutely, I would Fuck. say so. Um, you can roll a d100 though to see how your other businesses went while you were here. A a d what? A d which one? A hundred. All so right, give me sided. one second. It's the top one. There it is. Yes. Let us know what you get. Got hey, a... Maka! Sorry, had to. <laughs> I wanted to got a, got a 24. 24? Okay, so I would say um, you managed to sell um, a lot of the higher quality stuff um, that you you had in stock. You do have a lot of Timu-ish tidbits left. Um, <laughs> Timu-ish. Uh, <laughs> but you have primarily been um, trading for gold um, whereas you're kind of generally it, it's when people hear of a fey trading they're generally more wanting to trade items rather than money but because of uh, the company that you work for um, you are less initiated with those ways so considering the rerouting of business to acclimate to stereotype potentially but yes that is that is what you know about the concert and the tickets okay so just enough to have wanted to try to get in on 
that that trade, but yeah. not succeeding enough, in doing so. Enough to know it's very competitive to get a ticket yeah. for this concert. All right. Well, uh, what was your name again, lad? L- L- Lito? Yeah. All right. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, everyone who seems to have the, the, these tickets are holding on to them pretty tight. They're not letting them go for anything less than an, an absurd amount of gold. Okay, well, uh, you know anybody who's uh, holding on to these tickets? Maybe they don't have a very strong grip. Maybe you can get it knocked out of their hands, maybe, by accident. There are a bunch of scalpers outside of the theater itself. Okay. Uh, I'm already tra- starting to, like, plan a heist to steal the <laughs> <laughs> Heist too! Heist too! Same. So... <laughs> Yeah. Okay. In that case, um, yeah, you would you would know that mm-hmm. uh, it's it's kind of a Royal Albert Hall vibe for anyone for anyone who's been. Um, it is kind of like a slightly more um, uh, difficult to get into uh, establishment with demand for tickets and somewhat pricing. There are some good cost prices, um, but for for such a seemingly in demand event um it's the prices are gonna hike naturally um but in terms of the theater itself there is kind of an area just at the front which is accessible it has like displays about past shows and you know there's like a stage door where you can wait after to like go and fangirl um so it's not like there's completely no access to the theater but um in terms of tickets there's scalpers at the front, there's the ticket boxes, but they don't have any left. Um, except for shows that seemingly aren't as good as whatever is currently on. Which you can relay to Ludo without having to relay to Ludo. By me saying you can relay that to Ludo. <laughs> <laughs> and the group. <laughs> okay. You know, guys, well, scalping in, in so is words, illegal. Yeah. Right? I mean, so is heisting. Yeah, but, you know, as heroes, we should stop people from doing illegal activities like scalping. Oh, I didn't realize I was speaking to heroes. I thought we were fans of breakfast. I mean, that too. Yeah, very important to start breakfast before you hero the day. (laughs) Those are words of wisdom. So, I'm going to go steal some tickets from scalpers, and if anybody would like to come with me, I would appreciate it. You can count on me. I love making justice. Darkwing! Uh, um, yes, we shall seek justice and extra uh, tickets to try to balance out the market, yes? Oh, of course, of course. Pick up four for me. Okie dokie. Alright. I don't want to end up in jail again, so I'm going to go check on Luca in the bar. Wait, you were in jail? No, uh, done. Hey, what I'm going to go. What did your mother fun. think? No, don't tell her anything. It was fine. It was sorted. I'm, I'm happy to yeah. hear that, but I'll, you're going to have to tell me this story eventually. This is a tale worth sharing. Uh, yeah, it honestly, it was just a misunderstanding. Nothing illegal or too illegal happened. Hmm. Uh, all right. <laughs> um, do you want to roll a persuasion slash deception check for that, Camellia? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and Danny, you can uh, do an insight check if you oh, so wish. All right. <laughs> Twenty-three. I only got to a wee fifteen. Ooh. Um. Yeah. You. You believe. You believe, Camelia. 
All right. Look at that face. You're not going to believe that face. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, it's it's either you definitely believe Camellia or you know who Camellia's mother is and you should believe her. <laughs> because of that. <laughs> All right, well, as long as it wasn't too much... Uh trouble there i'm i'm happy to hear it was all sorted mm -hmm. uh, these guys were actually the ones who helped me out so yeah they're all oh, oh. good we do hear heroes. Shit. Uh, it's very it's very heroic to to help a, a an innocent damsel in distress and like D danny's esteem for these strangers starts to go up a little bit <laughs> <laughs> just the relationship bar just <laughs> Danny will remember that. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you guys are all talking, um, you see uh, Terilia, the lovely Tabaxi lady who introduced you to the to the um, to the place, come over. Oh, I see you've all met Danny. <laughs> He's been here for quite a while, so I'm sure he can tell you all about our various services and businesses. Plus, he's got a load of incredible shiny goods he's selling. Isn't that right, Danny? Uh, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. If you like shiny things, he's the guy to go to. Can I get any of y'all a drink or anything? Some food? Some snacks? Yes. I, I order uh, a a pint of their best ale and whatever is normally served for breakfast here. <laughs> uh -huh. Breakfast in the evening? Oh, is it evening? <laughs> yeah, it's totally evening. Oh, that's God. Fine. Hey, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, breakfast is on the mind. <laughs> <laughs> Look, bre 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 breakfast for supper is just a great thing. True. This is true. Um... Of course, I'll bring... Would anyone else like some ales or snacks? 16 pancakes and a white Russian, please. And a what? A what? <laughs> Milk and meat, I guess. Well, we can do pancakes. I know what pancakes are. M Milk and pancakes. My favorite. Okay, I will go and get those for you. Uh, I'll take uh, whatever you're serving for dinner, your house special. And then also, if you have, please, uh, a ticket to the Prince Albert Theater. <laughs> it's not actually it's not actually called Royal Albert. So I know. That would be great. <laughs> no, no I, I love that. I just... <laughs> the, the Prince Albert? It just renamed it. What's it called? The uh, Danny, you were just saying? What is it? And Shinois, I Shinois provide Shinois the name. It's the Xinhua oh. Playhouse. It's, oh. it's <laughs> the, the Xinhua Playhouse. That one. <laughs> Two tickets, um, please. Oh, no, no. This beef one, you need four. Uh, make it eight, nine tickets. I'm afraid I do not have any tickets for the concert. Oh, but do you know how much it costs or where we can get it? Oh, she, she like she can't poker face it. Like everyone here is very much, you know, trying to portray their best selves and in a very comfortable, natural way. Mm -hmm. But the face she pulls is just like, ooh, like she can't <laughs> hide it. She just like proper like cartoony like collar pull gulp. Uh, 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 how much money do you have right now? Six gold. It's like five. Um, six gold will maybe get you a look at one. <laughs> uh, it's uh, they're pretty hard to come by. Mm. It's okay. I'm uh, I'm gonna use the uh, the old Tarquin special. What? Oh, Danny, you've heard of Tarquin. Danny, roll a history check for me, please. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> history, totally history, history. <laughs> this is 
If this works, this I is about an... to get fucking crazy. I got I I got an eight. Oh thank God. <laughs> I think that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're just looking at that hair. That you 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 feel like you should know this man just because of the hair. The hair is everything. It's all right. It's all right. He comes from a different world. I can't expect everyone to know who I am. I didn't visit his land. Oh, you're right. You're right. Oh, well, may, may, maybe you should sometime. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I, I, I believe there must be a need for a hero, right? Uh, everyone needs a hero. Ah, yes. It's or, a complicated life. Or two, <laughs> or three, or, or a whole club of them, you know, just... Well, if I ever learn multiply, I will let you know. Okay. Terulia just slinks away to go and put in the orders. <laughs> so um, so Luto, breakfast to cook. <laughs> do, yeah. do you want me to steal from her? No, no, Is not from cool? her. L later on, we'll, we'll later, later, later. All right, all right. I would not recommend trying to steal from that woman. <laughs> <laughs> No, Trust but... me. <laughs> I will be a good boy. For now. Later. Oh, you Crimes. <laughs> you see she comes back with a just a big pic pitcher of ale. Um, a huge s stack of pancakes. And uh, all the food and drinks everyone requires. Ludo, you see she comes out with, uh, what does she come out with? She comes out with a huge, like, it's one of those, like, um, fireplace hangers for different tools, and it's all just different, um, skewers of kebabs. Oh, uh, some yeah. Some with meat, some with fish, vegetables, mushrooms, all of that good stuff. Nice. There's enough easily for everyone here, and then some. Um, but as to what you do with your meal, it's up to you. He will happily share with the table. Ow. Yeah, Camellia's paying anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Camellia. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I appreciate it. She takes two of the <laughs> kebabs. <laughs> Uh, after a little while, um, Umberlai comes back out. Uh, Danny, you see a, um, a very kind of pale blonde, um, elven woman, uh, very much almost has the air of someone that would be from, uh, your neck of the woods. Especially. And she just comes out and flops down on a chair, grabs, <laughs> grabs a mug of ale. Oh, I think that's all uh, set up for tonight. Just kind of sees you. I nod politely. <laughs> that's a very big hat. Oh, why, well, thank you. Sorry, have I missed something? Who, who is... Oh, uh, Umberlight, <laughs> this is a friend of mine from the Fey Realm, uh, Danny. Danny the Dapper Dwarf at your service. Danny the Dapper Dwarf? That's not my voice. I'm just, I'm deep <laughs> confusing her. Everyone Southern today. Oh boy. Uh, this is <laughs> Annie May. Annie May? <laughs> Annie get out of here! Um, well, it is a pleasure, Danny the Dapper Dwarf. I am Umberlai. You. Uh, you know Camellia. So I do. many fun stories we should know. And I just kind of like glance to the side at Camellia. Just kind of wondering how much I <laughs> like, like, like what kind of long <laughs> regaling tales I should begin with here. Pretty much nothing but the utmost respect for Camellia and their family. Um... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that you met them at a work do once and they were really nice um, you have uh, you probably wouldn't call their mother nice but they are pretty uh, respectable um, and also your boss so. 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, Danny and I have met a few times. Uh, he works with my mom, and he sells these really cool things. She'll bring out a keychain with a bunch of metal flowers on it. It looks all cute and sparkly. Oh. That's very... What does it do? Oh, uh, it... It, it sparkles. Looks pretty. <laughs> Matches my hair. Oh. Wow. Amazing. Have, have you guys seen this? Look at it. It's... It, it sparkles. Very pretty, Whoa. baby cheeks. Wow. Yes. Well, um, wonderful. So, what business are you in, if I may, if I may ask? I'm sorry, what? What kind of business are you in, if I may Oh, ask? right. Um, I, uh, I trade exotic wares. Uh, I sell them to folk. And I, uh, I find interesting things to take back home. How do you I've, get back and I've, forth to home? That's a good question. I don't remember how we do that. Kate. They they <laughs> just they <laughs> just kind of whenever whenever uh, they require you for paperwork or anything, they just <laughs> pull you right back through from the ta uh, the the okay. powers of fey teleportation. <laughs> all right, all right. So I got the perfect way to explain this then. So, <clears throat> Well, whenever they need me for important business back home, they, um, send someone to fetch me. But it's very important, super official. You know how it goes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Can I roll for insight? <laughs> you absolutely can, Camille, yeah, yes. <laughs> Danny, my darling, uh, roll either for pers persuasion or deception, depending on the truth um... behind your statement. <laughs> oh, that is a definite deception. I remember... <laughs> I have a 14. terrible memory, but but I do remember how you explained it to me. So just roll, yeah, just roll the deception. Yeah. I have a friend who used to do something similar. Uh, uh, Nat wow. 20. Ali Baba from Asuka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Did you just say a... Ali Baba from Asuka? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> they drop a ship on you, I hear. Um... Damn, is that your first nat 20? Yeah, it's a nat 20. Nat 20. To total of 23. It's early in hey, here. Yo. He oh, I'm, 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 I'm just getting him out of the way now. I mean, the first, the first <laughs> ever roll. Making way for the ones. <laughs> the first ever roll of the campaign was a natural 20, so. Oh, y'all started it out right then. I mean, <laughs> we started it out right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you were there. He's <laughs> <laughs> been Incredible. hiding in the bag of cats this whole time. <laughs> uh, that'll do it. Um, yeah, um, Camellia, I guess he's had a really good promotion. Holy mm. moly. Oh. Maybe he's more, Im that's, more than just a... That's what Danny wants worker. to call it anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Danny, uh, back home you know Camellia's family, right? I, I've worked with her mother, yes. Okay, they're mafia or... No. Um, oh, sorry. Some um, kind I mean, of I... maybe crime lord. No, no. They're a very, a very respectable, legitimate, um, business family back really? in the day. Yes. Camellia. So crime lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it just we meet you. You're already in jail, and then you help us with the other thing that would probably get you in jail if people know, and then. I, I don't know. I thought that maybe you're just finishing the family business. Uh, well, first of okay. all, the, the uh, dropping for misunderstandings. Uh -huh. I, she says that pointedly <laughs> at Danny. Yeah, um, I know we rolled earlier and I believed you, but now I'm starting to wonder. <laughs> <laughs> would be an exciting story if you did come from a crime family or syndicate. It would be more exciting. Up until, but, I no. boom, 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 up, boom, up until boom, Danny boom, shows up from home and just completely ruins the story. <laughs> <laughs> she has some cool backstory and it's just like, hi guys, I'm Danny. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm just playing my violin over here. <laughs> <laughs> the, the band just starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's been here the whole time. What do you mean? Yeah. Um... <laughs> Nobody. We, we were just looking way too up. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you have to step back, relax, and then the you know the obvious comes into focus. <laughs> You're just standing behind Ludo the whole time. <laughs> oh shit! Oh no, the camera just never quite panned down far enough. Um. So, you're not from a crime syndicate family, then? No, my mom's just an upper manager at some big shot company back home. Big companies in the Feywild? I can't imagine that. You know, I've never thought about that. Just like a yeah, that's okay. Company. Um, mm -hmm. so so she said, you know, just some company, right? And and <laughs> Danny. <laughs> Danny tries to, like, hide his reaction, but he doesn't take that too well. <laughs> Insight. <laughs> Ludo's here for the tea. Uh, roll a performance check for me, please, Danny. All right, Danny all right. Danifer. Gotta, gotta switch that tab the, again. The fame mischief already coming in. Just yeah, fast. it's just some company. You don't need to worry about it. Just a little company. Mm -hmm. Just some not company. In, not important. I'm talking that about a 19 insight check. All right. Ooh. My performance was abysmal, apparently. Um, it was a 10. <laughs> oh. Uh, da yeah, Danny's face cracks under the pressure of interrogation. <laughs> he seems very insulted um, by what Umble I just said. Uh-oh. <laughs> it looks like Danny doesn't agree. But I, I just, you know, we do very important work. Um, you know, it's it's for the good of of, of the realm and all that. You know, oh, just yes. just saying some company is, and, and then he just kind of like starts to mumble into his food and starts eating. <laughs> <laughs> is that why you're staying in a brothel, dear? I, she says with I, a big I, smile. <laughs> look, the rooms are really a. a really affordable here. They, they are. <laughs> oh, all jokes aside, no, they very much are. <laughs> this is a lovely place, don't you think? Very much so. Uh -huh. I'm like eating with, I'm like talking with a full <laughs> mouth at this point. <laughs> just everybody's just getting in. What the fuck is that? So, um, uh, will, uh, will you be joining us for um, our adventures then, if you know Camellia so well. Woof, 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 woof. Fun. Can you, can you try saying that again? I, I didn't understand. I didn't even mess with syrup because this pancake is kind of dry. Oh. Okay. Uh, like, uh, I just imagine there's some like syrup on the the counter or whatever. Danny just cut, starts to pass it down the line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, the syrup is passed to beef on. <laughs> With nary a spoon. I said you draw it. was really fun. <laughs> I... I imagine I can help for a, a little bit. Um, I understand they're wanting some tickets for one reason or another. <gasps> no? What? Huh? Tickets? No, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Honey Probably just. Bunny, were you going to get me some tickets? Baby cheeks. No, okay. I was gonna um take out my dates tonight. Yeah, that's that's, right. that's it. <laughs> I, know, I don't even know what. A lot of even... tickets. What is a ticket? I don't even know what is that. I'm a sticky gentleman. Come on, let's go. More food. Insight check the fuck out of <laughs> 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 How much insight this <laughs> this game? Yeah, we, yeah, we're making up for all the times so I'm like, guys, if you ever are suspicious, <laughs> just say. <laughs> it's a 14 deception check, and to be fair, he's he is smiling at the corner of his lips. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> she got a 24. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> uh, what? What tickets? I never even know a ticket. Who's ticket? She just leans over and, and gives you a syrupy smooch on the cheek. 
Thank you. Anything for my baby cheeks. So uh, we really need to get those tickets. Yeah, <laughs> no we problem. Can just go to... Can't we just go and buy them at the ticket place? Oh, you don't need to worry about that. I, uh, Tarquin and I are going to go pick them up later. It's okay. Should we carry on the insight check from before, or would you like to try again? <laughs> I mean, that is true. That is true. <laughs> it, it would. She's she's suspicious though, so it would okay. it would still be a persuasion check. All right, here we go. Persuasion. <laughs> you got this. Nat tw Oh, okay. It's a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Oh, rollies. I also got a dirty. 20. Okay. So just a straight, versus... just a straight roll for this one. Oh, just a straight d20. Just a straight d20. I realize I don't know how to do that. Okay, this is gonna say our <laughs> con. But... That's okay. I just got a. Five. Oh no! I also got a five. Oh damn! Rollies! Thank <laughs> <laughs> God, they're so in couple of war, right? Fifteen. <laughs> Aha! Dang it! Just, I just, I just imagine them like looking at each other for a moment. Yeah, seeing they're who cracks just first. Deep yeah. in each other's eyes, like, hmm. <laughs> well, if you insist. Smooth. Ludo's just that gif of Jordan Peele where he's just like sweating more and more profusely. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, if you ever need help. I'm more than happy to. Of course, of course. Okay. Thank you, then. Right, well, you better not leave it too long if you're going later. It's coming up to night time. Yeah, night time is actually the best time for uh, picking it up, I heard. Right. Huh? What? Oh, Back when oh, let's are go. They, are they open 24-7? Well, where we're getting them, yeah. Well, I suppose if there's a if the concert's on tonight, there's already you know an event on, so the place would have to be open. Speaking of guys, is do we have any plan for how long we're gonna stay here in Jinwa? As long as it takes. As long as it takes. We've got the rooms for three days. As long as it's profitable. Three we days, always, okay. Uh, book again if we need. Thanks again, Camellia. Thank you, Camellia. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Bifon is very confused how much we're actually getting paid for this. We're getting paid? <laughs> Ludo suddenly okay. feels a lot better about Camellia paying for everything now that he's kind of slowly picking up that she's trust one maybe mm -hmm. maybe like you like, yeah, like, <laughs> like a nice. fake like, millionaire like, she's like, like, Apo, baby. She, what i was she, fucking worried about she's like she's like you know heir to a to a corporate dynasty back home <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? um you do all know that you're gonna go back to when you go back to ninu you're all getting a bespoke uh armor piece or weapon as you requested before you left yeah, so that's I guess something. now we need money too, though. Apparently, for things. You'll probably get paid as well. I'm not, you know, I'm not expecting you to do it all for free. I mean, they gave you a free ship over. That's true. Yeah, that's uh, they said they they're paying for everything, but I'm not 100 sure <laughs> percent. You just about gotta save the receipts. What we're getting <laughs> above that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Danny's yeah. just, just start turns into the accountant for the group. It's okay. Uh, Camellia Walton will pay for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Who ordered four whores? <laughs> well, as they said, the entertainment is included in the price. So, unless you go, real we still crazy have to bring these back stuff. to the guild. <laughs> That's true. Okay. So, Jill looking how, over her receipts. How, like, you how would, yeah, I, was, I was about to say, how, how would they like those receipts? <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just picturing Tyrion reading it, like, mm hmm. Yeah, we're not going to pay for this. <laughs> what, was it relevant? And you're like, ah, uh, yeah, we. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> Very. <laughs> we learned um but okay so what is everyone doing 
helpful to see. Uh, right now, Danny is finishing up his breakfast for supper. Yum. And then he's going to meander around the premises trying to sell some stuff. Nice. Because <laughs> that's, that, that's what he do. Later. How late is it? Um, it's, it's like, uh, it's like seven, like 7 early 30. evening. Oh, yeah. a little later than that. Okay. Um, Ludo, you mm -hmm. have been considering potential business, uh, with your numerous cupcakes from oh your my very god, right? Legitimate official cupcake business. Good. Um, and How long to Danny? Presented with a businessman. True. Good call. Uh, Danny, I told you there uh, would be an opportunity. <laughs> you you said you're a businessman, right? Uh, does your business ever deal with uh, distribution? Uh, I don't handle distribution myself. I'm more of a um, like I acquire the goods, and at at times they go back home. Oh, okay. What about logistics? <laughs> Danny just kind of thinks back over what he just said. Um, he doesn't really do lo lo logistics either, right, Key? He's pretty much just buying and selling stuff. Your your <laughs> official job <laughs> is I forget come in, the term. <laughs> come in here. You are a um, requisitional fragmenteer at the Fragmentium. Um, right. So your whole legal business LinkedIn synopsis uh, would be um, going to the human realm, acquiring items of interest, and mm -hmm. bringing them back, you know, anything of interest back. Anything that is not of interest, you can sell or trade. Right. And you have figured out that within your contract, your clause... <laughs> that there is wiggle room for making some profit on the side um, right. in a way that is technically not illegal or against the company policy but you know maybe the company shouldn't know too much about it um, so that's as far kind of as... been your main way of making making your way in the meantime to finding big treasure loot right so if this would serve Danny's interests, mm -hmm. he would try the Absolutely. logistics route with what was it? Pancakes? <laughs> Cupcakes. Cupcakes. <laughs> he hasn't Why mentioned not? the goods yet, but he has a business proposition, and right. it's in itself <laughs> alluring for Danny. When, when Ludo notices Danny kind of hesitating, he's gonna lean in, put his hand on the table, and just be like, <laughs> "Danny, you ever deal drugs?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one to, to, to do such a thing, at least not regularly. Well, why, but, why do you ask? Well, you're a businessman, you know, you want to branch out, try different things, maybe deal some drugs for your new friend Ludo. <laughs> We're drug dealers now? No, it's just we have all this pan these cupcakes. I don't know what they do. I figure we market them as kind of like, you know, party poppers. Something to take at a rave, some kind of club. <laughs> you... well, I, I, I think I could help you out with that, yeah. There you go, see? For, uh, for uh, a certain, you know, percentage of the proceeds, of, of course. Of course, 5%, of course. I, sorry, I thought that was 15, right? 15? Oh, you mean 10%, yeah, yeah, 10%. All right, deal. Nice. And then they, like, shake hands and... Indeed, and then I, uh, I bring out a fridge, a mini fridge, <laughs> onto the table, <laughs> which I'm just casually God. wearing at my side. I open it; oh it smells God. faintly of seawater. Okay. And he oh, begins. You never know, washed it out. I'm, I'm nope. already having second thoughts. Oh. It takes a while for that smell to go away. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I uh, proceed to pull out uh, tw 29, 29 <laughs> cupcakes. Okay. Still has her. Is um, it within my realm of, of powers to like inspect these cupcakes and see what they do? I would 
would say aside just, from eating one <laughs> just with with, <laughs> with your um with your face senses you uh -huh. you know that mortal mortal drugs probably don't even come near to regular fey water like <laughs> they're probably like just really tame for for a fey person like your, such as yourself um in other words the, these would sell for nothing in the fey realm like they wouldn't be worthy they probably wouldn't but yeah you know that you know, another thing that happens to you as a fey businessman is, you know, the first question is, oh, do you, want, do you want to trade? I'll give you my sister's firstborn for, like, some cool stuff. The second thing people do is go, you've had any of that, uh, you got any of that crazy fey stuff? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, there is a, there is a viable market. Um, no, and these are just cupcakes, and you have regular cupcakes. Yeah, mar especially if you market them as fey drugs? Oh my god. Premium. <laughs> premium as price. as you are getting these cupcakes out, I will say um, one of the um, <laughs> one of the uh, staff at this establishment kind of walks past. You see a halfling man with kind of uh, very bleach blonde, spiky hair, lots of jewels and stuff in his ears. Just kind of go, oh, cupcakes. Those. May I have one? Do you like to get down? <laughs> He just, he, like, his body language relaxes, and he's just like, oh darling, God. have you seen where we are? Good, good. Well, I'll tell you what, uh... I'll, I'll have you know, uh, friend, that these, they're... Oh my God. They have very potent properties. They may or may not come from somewhat special. Oh? Mm -hmm. Where from? And I just kind of, I look around, <laughs> I just kind of make sure there's not a lot of people listening, you know? Try to, mm -hmm. try to really sell the vibe, right? Just, yeah. so like, hold on, before I continue, um, <laughs> I, I am aware that they have magical properties, right? Like, I can sense that. Um, because it was insinua- I, I think it's easy to insinuate that from Ludo saying, uh, have you ever dealt drugs? Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just making sure. It's like so. I just kind of it's lean a, it's in. It's a and safe I say, assumption that they're gonna do something. <laughs> I just kind of lean. I, I just kind of lean in. Then I'm like, and I tell them, they're from the Fey, the Fey realm. Hmm. I've done some Fey stuff before. See? How many are they? Uh, how much are they? I kind of glance at Ludo because I don't know how much he's trying to charge for them. They're technically his, so. <laughs> Uh, Ludo gives you a look that implies a shrug. Okay. So I look back at him. Um, <laughs> God, I, 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 I don't know the local economy at all. And, <laughs> and the beautiful thing is, Val, that that is exactly how Danny would be feeling in this moment. <laughs> so. that, he, that he doesn't know the local economy at all? Yes. Okay. I'm just going to throw out a number then. Um, Look, normally, <laughs> normally it would be five gold a cupcake. Mm. But I but I like the cut of your jib. So what we're going to do, I'm going to cut you a bit of a deal here. Uh, would you happen to have two gold on you? Oh my god. That I would. Well, for two gold, we'll give you a cupcake. A fey cupcake. How many can I get for seven gold? He kind of like uh, leans back and starts stroking his beard, <laughs> you know. I'll give you, I'll give you three for that plus plus an extra one, just you know, as a bonus. It's a buy one get one free deal. DM, do we know how much the grandma was was selling them for? You can roll a history check if you would like. Oh, you want to see his natural twenty? Is what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. Come on. Let's go, ahead, let's, go, let's go ahead and get, get him out yeah. of the <laughs> it sounds, sounds like a perfect price to me. It actually does. Uh, That's oh, like a very it. reasonable price. I'm not going to lie. That's very. Like the perfect price for them. <laughs> I mean, I can put 14 Val's on pro. that if it helps. Oh, there you go. Na the phone's got a 14. Natural, na natural businessman, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, you would say kind of 
uh, slightly slightly less than that, but that's because there seem to be a lot of magical ones left. Yeah, we got like how many did you say? Twenty nine on the table. Uh huh. Probably not the best idea to display all of them when you're trying to make a deal. <laughs> <laughs> so seven gold for four. Yes, sir. And I won't die if I eat these, will I? Well, these are fey cupcakes. It's unlikely, but I can't promise that. There's no fun if there's no risk. Sold. All right. Shakes your hand, hands you seven gold pieces um, to be split with your business partner. Um, uh. Umbrella is just kind of watching this and just ama amazed. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, how quickly uh, specifically Ludo has picked up on the uh, <laughs> on the grift <laughs> Danny just has that right. influence on his friends chat I would like you to roll uh... oh <laughs> <laughs> just realized I'd one. like you to roll some rolls for me please what was the roll again was it 2d20 2d20 for me please chat I didn't know you could get chat in on this. That's cool. Well, see, here's the thing, Val. Uh -huh. <laughs> with, these, with these cupcakes, each of them have been assigned very specific magical effects. And so when you eat a cupcake, you will have to roll for these very specific magic effects. Uh -huh. um, last week, last time we had a Freaky Friday with... Um, <laughs> with uh, Luca and the seagull. Uh, enough said, basically. Um, it was very funny. 36 cupcakes. Okay, here we go. Are you adding the numbers see. together? Because if so, it's uh... light. Yeah, I'll, I'll add the numbers together. Uh, let me see. And the results of these are pretty nuts. Um... <laughs> see have we got four we've got four numbers thank you chat thank you chat very much oh that's right those are the ones we have lost already oh, oh boy oh, oh boy oh, we boy. might need some we might need some more rolls so if someone wants to do some extra rolls in case we've already landed on the numbers please do feel free franny that includes you right we've got 17 and 18 Quick, quick maths! 35. 35! 35. 35. Funnily enough, we have had that one. That is why the body swap mm -hmm. happened last week. So, <laughs> no. um, 18. 18. 18. Oh, this poor guy. 18. Oh, this poor guy. This, this, could, this could get interesting. Uh, uh -oh. 18. Um, okay. Uh, we have already had 18. That's creepy. Um, that Six. was the one that is that 18 is the cupcake that Bifon has, but hasn't eaten, I believe. Oh, mm. <laughs> um, now I'm curious. Uh, right, we've got six from Makamaka. Oh, oh, okay, okay, that's a new one. <laughs> so we've got sold to Ephigenio, who is this lovely man. Okay, sold to Ephigenio. Uh, 14 and 8 is 22. Oh, 22 is one of my favorites. Okie dokie. <laughs> um, go... Oop. Sorry for the delay. Sold to Ephigenia. I'm almost sad he got that one. Oh, I would have loved to see one of you get that. Um... That just goes into random streams rolling 22s. <laughs> <laughs> uh, six and four is ten. Have we done ten? Oh. Oh! That's a fun one. All of these are fun. A lot of these are fun. Okay. Sold to Ephigenia. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. 
I'm fun. having fun. You, you doubt you doubt my use of the word. Luca was a bird. Luca was a bird, wasn't she? Wasn't that pretty? <laughs> when he's sober useful. for 19 that days. Was, that was the effect of two cupcakes combined. I will have you. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Um, mm -hmm. And a six and a two, which is eight. Oh, another interesting one. Okay, sold to you. Okay, thank you very much, chat, for your contributions to the cake list. Okay. So, those four cakes are quickly sold and handed Who bought over. them? Uh, a man called Effigenio. He is one of the uh, staff members at this brothel. He is a... Uh, and your half... mother? <laughs> he is not my mother. I okay. <laughs> Dice one, though. <laughs> Uh, DM, I'm going to keep one back for myself, and it is number 26. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to put cupcake number 26 <laughs> in my fridge. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just having fun. <laughs> fun. So, um... Oh, no. Right. While while Ludo is doing this, it's like Danny is now all about trying to sell the the, the these cupcakes. He's looking around at, at like everyone in the vicinity, trying to figure out who the next uh, customer is going to be. Uh, Danny, uh, while you sell them, uh, remind people that we aren't responsible for anything that happens because of the cupcakes. Oh, I would. Uh... I would never let anything come back on you, Camellia. I promise. Luca comes over from getting her water and just, like, sitting and chatting to the guy at the bar and starts to head back to her room. Okay, guys, I'm gonna head to bed. Sees the cupcakes. I'm gonna head to bed. Good night. <laughs> just <laughs> walks quickly back to her room. <laughs> you just Bye, Luca. Hear him. You Bye, just hear Luca. him distant. <laughs> <laughs> okay so business continues what would mm -hmm. everyone like to get up to this evening Camellia I believe you said you wanted to go and speak to Luca mm -hmm. okie dokie how about everybody else well I'm I've had waiting it. on my I've... tickets I'm a party with the animals for now <laughs> okay <laughs> Danny's had a had a change of heart. He was gonna try to like sell some other stuff, but now he's all about trying to push some cupcakes. Yeah. So he's like he's starting to walk around the crowd, you know, do some um some small talk, point to the cupcakes, you know, just really really hyping them up, the possible effects that they might have. Selling them all within the brothel itself. <laughs> um, oh my god! Oh my god! I am not. I am not asking that. They're, ignore I'm... my tone. I am Look, just asking <laughs> as a concerned bystander. <laughs> well, here's the thing, right? It's like, if he makes a couple of sales in the brothel itself, that'll be fine. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. just a starting point. Mm -hmm. You know? This is just a... This is um, the beginning. You do see in the corner uh, one of the quieter members of staff that you have seen in here. Um, you all can easily take note of her um she's wearing this kind of um large she kind of looks like um a, a, if a passenger on the titanic was like pastel coachella vibes um <laughs> for lack of a better description no, um, it's great. <laughs> thank you um just like the big hat but like very pale like white hair um, some decorative makeups, very lush, um, like dress and like a big uh, wrap around her arms as she just sits on one of the bar chairs at the side, kind of her legs crossed at this small table. Um, oh. You've seen various people, Danny, um, talking to her, mostly one on one. Um, mm -hmm. You haven't seen her go into any rooms. That's just because she hasn't had a cupcake yet. <laughs> Fuck 
um, but you do see her, and she, you all notice she does seem to be very wealthy, as would a um, person who looks like they're dressing up for the Titanic and Coachella uh, at a <laughs> brothel. <laughs> well, big you know, flowery hat. The 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 way I see it, she has a big hat. I have a big hat. <laughs> surely, surely we can hit it off. Just <laughs> waving big hat. Iconic. So okay. you know, I'm making my way toward her. I'm you know I'm I'm chatting with a couple of people here and there, just Is like pointing pointing to the cupcakes. Joining Danny. But I now I now have the um. I now have the primary target in sight. Oh, <laughs> Is anyone else joining Danny to go and speak with this very mysterious, elegant, rich lady? No, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> You're all just observing from a distance, watching the master at work, his initiation. <laughs> uh, hmm. uh, the, look, the, press, the pressure's not on Danny, but it's definitely on me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ludo Brown just uh, collects. He don't deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, honestly, you... given the way the way the 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 lady responded to the when he asked about the price, um, he doesn't think that selling all these cupcakes is going to be enough to pick up some tickets. So Ludo would like to go uh, if Tarquin's willing to go with him to go scout out these scalpers. And okay. see how much uh, how much they're going for to begin with, and you know if the cupcakes aren't going to get us enough, then we got to figure out some other way. Okay, so I'm who would like to be who's team uh, who is team brothel and who is team scalpers? It well, there's two of us now, so if anyone wants to join, I'll be team uh, brothel. Okay. Oh, so we're the the mortals versus the immortals. <laughs> Not quite immortals, but <laughs> the the fey the fey and the humes. <laughs> team fey, team hume. Okay. Nice. Uh, I guess I'll go to the theater. Yeah. Nice. I got something I need to check out. Okay. So we'll stick with uh, team brothel for the moment, okay. while team heist can have a think about their approach. <laughs> so. Danny, you approach um, this woman who seems to be at her own table drinking from a long flute. Not a literal right. flute, although that would be sick. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, already disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this isn't the Fey World anymore, I'm afraid. I know it. I know. He's, he's, he's still adjusting, you know? Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Do you see this woman just kind of pleasantly enjoying her own company? Mm hmm. So I just, um, I just, like, stop at her table, and I'm, you know, I just, Hey, how are you doing? She looks down towards you. <laughs> She's on quite a high barstool chair. Um, she looks down. Good evening. Uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time. You seem to be have enjoying your evening, so I'll just, um, cut to the chase here. We've got some lovely cupcakes over on the table. That I'm, I'm, I'm selling to some of the patrons here. Would you like a cupcake or two? Hmm. That is a tempting offer. What's so special about these? Hey. Uh, at that point, he, the, he said these are tall stools, right? Mm -hmm. I, I'm trying to imagine how smoothly Danny could get into onto a tall stool, <laughs> being a dwarf and everything. I think in in, in the uh, sway of the sail, he would he would find a way to do it as All right. swiftly. Mount as that shit like a pommel horse. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look. All right, so I do that, but in a, but in a suave, very charismatic way. Hell she yeah. raises an eyebrow. No. <laughs> oh. Uh, not everyone needs to know, so I'm just kind of, um... These cupcakes are from the Fae. They have, um, certain effects on people. It can be unpredictable, but that's what makes them exciting. Have you tried them? Oh, uh, a master salesman would never, uh, partake in his own wares. 
it cuts into the to the you know the the profits and everything. But how would you know they are worthy of sale without first trying them? She gives you a gentle smile. <laughs> oh, she's good. Uh, I have it on good authority from uh, the producers of the cupcakes, and I've actually seen the effects of one of them firsthand. Do I have to roll a deception for that? <laughs> she's she's not prying yet, but you can roll a deception if you would like to. Uh, if I don't have to, I'd... we'll we'll yeah. postpone that. Yeah. <laughs> <That's sweet>. <laughs> <laughs> so you do not make them yourself. I, I am a dwarf of many talents, but sadly that is not one of them. Maybe to taste one could give you the powers to be able to get more of the profits for yourself. It is a thought. Um, but I am a, a busy dwarf traveling around. I can't stay in one place long enough for the kind of production necessary to make them you. to make them at scale. All right. Um, because you've been a lovely conversationalist, I'm going to cut you a, a, a nice deal. How does four gold sound? <laughs> Perfect. She hands you five gold. All right. I uh, take the five gold, and I walk over to grab two cupcakes for her. Mm-hmm. And then I present them to her. She takes them both and hands one to you. Nice. Cheers. <laughs> I mean... It's a good business. <laughs> I didn't know you like to get wet, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> to good business. Chat, and if you would like to roll two more D20s. <laughs> I... you know this I is eat... not an option, chat. <laughs> <laughs> two, two lots of 2D20s. Decide the fate. Danny look, look, looks at it a moment, then he shrugs. Okay. Why, why not? So I do I do eat one. <laughs> <laughs> no. Holy moly. All right, we got we got 29. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm glad I wrote that one. And 11 and 6 is 17. Mm -hmm. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a question, Val. Yeah. Would you like twenty seven or would you like sorry, would you like twenty nine <laughs> or seventeen? You know what? I've always liked the number seventeen. <laughs> so I, let's let's go for it. I felt That's a good you number. were a, I I felt you were a seventeen kind of person. Alright. You um, you've known me for years. <laughs> you you eat your cupcake. Uh -huh. Tastes of blueberry jam mm -hmm. and vanilla. It's very delicious. Little, I'm liking little stale. Yeah, but I'm, I'm nothing, liking this so far. Nothing insulting. Um, are you sitting on the stool with like your feet on the little stool rest? How are you sitting if... on the stool? <laughs> well, I've, a I've I have you know properly remounted it. Um, I, I imagine being a dwarf, his feet just kind of dangle. Okay. Since um, since it's a since it's a tall a tall stool. Wonderful. Please make for me a dexterity saving throw as your feet become incredibly heavy and drag you off of the stool. All right. <laughs> no. So which do I click on here? Is it the the dex on here? Oh, it's or is the it saving throw? The box just underneath to the left. Of it. Box underneath. Okay, I, I found it. <laughs> nope. There we go. Oh, no. It's an 11. Okay, uh, you are pulled off of the stool. You land on your feet, <laughs> but you are pulled off of the stool uh, as you take a bite. Um, I, think, I think that might stop her from eating the cake. <laughs> or hesitate, at least. Oh, um... Hmm. Look, I, I try to. Can, can I? Can I still talk? 
Yeah, you can still talk. Um, oh, your like, feet I, feel I try to... incredibly heavy. All right, I, I um, try to play it off. Like, oh, this this cupcake's got a kick to it. Oh. Until the next long rest, your speed is. Sorry, not until the next long. For the next day, sorry. Oh, Jesus. Your speed is halved. Oh. Because your feet are so heavy. It feels as if they are made out of steel. Do we round well, yeah, up or fit you round for some down cement for shoes? <laughs> well, you know what? We'll round up because okay. you're already a dwarf with the least <laughs> speed of anyone here. So this is already going to be a painful enough experience. So we'll round okay. up. It is All a right. small, small comfort. <laughs> but, right. Running with your pants around your ankles. <laughs> oh. oh, Lord Jesus. So, so does she eat hers now or? She's she roll a persuasion check for me. Uh, okay. She definitely well, hesitates. She was admiring the. the fortunately, uncle. fortunately, I don't need to be fast to be persuasive. So this is true. All yeah, right. could have been worse. Could have been worse. A dirty twenty. Oh, dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty <laughs> succeeds. Hmm. Entertaining. And she'll take a bite of her cupcake. As she does. <laughs> I didn't kill this woman, did I? <laughs> no, no, you're good. Um, it's one of the lesser effects, but it's still just so stupid. Danny, you look up at this woman. It's very, very, very tall woman, even uh -huh. for... Uh, regular human standards. She's she's quite tall. Oh, oh, to, to me, she's a giant. Sitting, sitting on her stool. But she's not the woman you saw before. She is, but she's not. This... Uh, some of the most wondrous things in life don't make any sense. This defies all logic in your brain, but you have never felt more strongly about something before. You know of your family, your origin. You know that you don't have a brother. But yet, somehow, this woman is your long lost brother. <laughs> what? <laughs> this, this is your long lost brother. The the woman before you is your long lost brother. <laughs> You've been looking for him for years, and you found him. You you start to see the family resemblance. You envision. A green beard on her, and a large hat not unlike is there... her own. Oh, she's already the wearing a large hat. The resemblance <laughs> is uncanny. It makes even more sense now. There's do a... I do I already have a name in my brain for my long lost brother? Because if if if, if I do, I want to just you know roll they, with it. They are so long lost. That you don't remember. Oh no. You don't remember even having a brother before, but you know <clears throat> in your heart that this is your okay. long lost brother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, um I've I've never had a long lost brother before, so I'm trying to figure out that's, how Danny should react. Um and that's a valid um, reaction even for Danny. You've never had a long lost brother before, and now you have one, and they're right here. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> as I as I stand there, between stools, looking at my long-lost brother, I'm speechless. But, obviously, like, I, I, I probably have this look on my face of just relief and shock. And I'm just, like, the mask is off, right? <laughs> and I'm just staring at her. Is, is everything alright? Oh. 
Oh my god. I've been I've been looking for you longer than I can remember. You have. Yes. Yes, brother. As what have you been? As you begin speaking, you see the guy you just sold other cupcakes to, and he also turns and goes, Oh my god, brother, it's you. I've been such a- and like, increasingly just other people who set eyes on this woman are just realizing that she is their long-lost brother. And, uh, something clicks in her mind, and she just... Oh. It's not a magical effect I have seen before. What do you mean, brother? Interesting. Did you- did you like my cupcake? I can get you another. I am quite alright, thank you. I will retire to my room, and I promise you. Uh, Brother, we, we have so much to talk uh, about. It's been so long. Give me a day, and I will have figured out how to break to you everything I have been through. She speaks to you and to everyone behind you that's now just like, Brother. Just, just, just kind of like lined up. Yeah. Like, like just, a whole crowd of people. Yeah, you just look over and see um, <laughs> Axbly, the the uh, bartender, just like weeping gently into his ale. <laughs> just, I, w I will get my story together to tell you all. And I will see you in a day's time to explain everything. But right now... You and me both, I feel like we need time. Okay? Hey. And you just hear a few sniffles and... Uh-huh. Yeah, I understand. Oh, I... <laughs> okay. Um... I, I, I look forward to hearing... Do, do you want to hear what I've been through? Or do you want to wait? Save it. Do, do you want to wait? Save it for later, dear brother. Okay. And sisters. I, I will... There will be plenty of time for that, but for now, I need not be disturbed. She's... F for the audience, um, you would see she is... She's figured out what's going on, and she's thoroughly amused by this, but she's like, <laughs> I'm peacing out, this is weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she kind of... Like, like, like the Pope going through a crowd. She's just like holding hands as she starts to make her way out the room. Just like it's okay. Danny's like okay. Re reaching out, you know. It's fine. I will. I will return. Okay. And she heads back into um, her room, which audience you seem to you see would be room sixty nine. Um, nice. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> mm, 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 lore. Um. And, um, suddenly, <laughs> where is it? Um, yeah, and, uh, you kind of come back to yourself. Um, well, you sold a couple of cupcakes. Nothing else seems crazy seems to have happened in the last few minutes. Everyone resumes back to normal. Oh, um, so I, I, I don't remember what happened because I was about to. Something happened, but mm -hmm. it's. You, you know, you sold a couple of cupcakes, which is really good. Okay. <laughs> well, I I, I I guess I guess visually what happens is as soon as she's out of sight, I like blink a couple of times and I just kind yeah. of look around like I'm Everyone, a little dizzy. Everyone's like in here. Yeah. They must have heard about the cupcakes. <laughs> All right. So Danny immediately hops onto a table. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, have I got the cupcakes for you? And he like gestures to the cupcakes <laughs> on the table right next to the table he's standing on. Danny. Yes. High or, uh, high or low? Low? That dice is now in the abyss. Um, there we go. Oh, it is low. Danny, you successfully sell all but four of the cupcakes. <laughs> yes! Nice! <laughs> Chat, I would like you to roll four sets of 2d20, please, for the cakes that remain. <laughs> As most of these have been sold. How much, how much gold would that be? 
Ooh. Roll a... Roll 2d100s for me. 2d100s? Every Everyone's in here. And How do Slappy I... Just, like, out of it. <laughs> Can I roll two at a time, or do I have to do this individually? Um, oh, no, there we go. I, I figured it out. Sweet. And then add um, them together. Right, so... The total is 126. Can you make 126 gold? Okay. I'm going to add that to my inventory real quick. Okay, so the cakes mm. that are left. Yes! I'm glad this one's left. I like this one. Okay. Calculator. Um, I need another roll from you, Subdued. 12 and 18 is... Oh shit! Oh, twenty-six. I I already have that one, by the way. Yes. Cool. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Um. This was a very profitable evening. It yeah. was. Yeah. <laughs> came came out pretty good. Um. I'm a bit disappointed. It was right there, Val. Uh, sorry. Did, did did I miss something obvious? <laughs> Brother, I was I was, <laughs> I was waiting for it. Oh, um, you know, I was I was so focused on playing the emotional aspect of it that that didn't even occur to me. You're you're more of a professional it's than been... us. You've been here so long. You've been here since episode That's minus zero. True. So yeah, it's been too you know better long. Than I. Yeah, been... <laughs> gotta get right. It was right there. Oh, oh man. Okay, thank you, Do overs. Do overs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The fun. It's on the side of the Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that we've already become drug great. dealers. Anything can happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm apparently I, a very great drug dealer. <laughs> yeah. I like that we've managed to get one of the one of the other more weirdly low-key unhinged uh, cupcakes out of the way. Mm. What was that I'm one? I'm here to like, provide a service. The person next um, to you you think is your sibling? The, uh, the person who eats the uh, cupcake is immediately recognizable to everyone who can see them as their long-lost brother. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, that's stupid. Oh, man, like... I was kind man. of hoping Tarquin would get that one, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> that one I made for Tarquin. Mm. I kind oh of, God, a lot of... A lot of them I kind of made with people in mind, but if it didn't get them, then that's totally fine. But I was like... That I was thinking about fun. why she would make something like that. Is it like a therapy <laughs> muffin for some people? <laughs> well, well, you know, if she was a witch, right? Which she's if, not. If she was a witch. Sounds um, like a prankster. <laughs> then um it would have been a case of like it's the wishmaster thing right so people would have gone to her and um someone maybe would have gone to her and been like please i really like i can't find my brother anywhere like i just wish i could see my long lost brother again and she's like mm. bet eat this cupcake and then <laughs> the first person they see <laughs> everyone will be like you are my long lost brother and then it will be like, everyone's your long lost brother. Um, so it kind of sorts the issue out, but it also fucking doesn't. Um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, if she was a witch. Which would be crazy. Um, Glad she's not. <laughs> I know, that would have been nuts. That would have been so nuts. How, how fortunate for everyone involved. <laughs> oh, that person's gonna have a day that got that cupcake. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Since, si since they're all sold now, um, can we hear some of the effects? Or are you going to keep that in pocket for wonderful twists later on in the session? If well, you want to make the one I kept dealer's choice, I'd be happy to. Because I, I hate for these to go to waste. Oh, but 26 is already pretty bad. Okay. Um, mm, no, it's kind of sad, actually. <laughs> Oh no! We're gonna walk back in here, and it's gonna be like the scum bar from Monkey Island. Oh my god, maybe. Um, okay, I don't mind doing that. I don't mind doing that. Um, I'm still crossing off ones. So there were some that were just your generic um, uh, strengths and weaknesses to physical attack, magic 
weakness, resistances. Um, of course, there's um, steel wit, which gives you a um, steel gut, which gives you advantage on con saves. Steel wit that gives you uh, advantage on wisdom saves, and then of course steel feet, which halves your speed, which is what Danny got. Um. Oh yeah, I, 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 I was thinking about that. You know, I must be really tired after jumping on that table. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, that one's quite good. Um, that's the one Tarquin's got. That's the one. Um, I don't know what would Ephigenia be doing. Ephigenia is probably going to have a so that we might see what that is. Um, yeah, she got targeted suddenly recognized as everyone's long lost brother. Um, Winnie's got a cupcake. Um, Camellia also has a cupcake that she's not eaten. Um, so, uh, some of the other ones uh, distracts a hostile being for 1d4 rounds and auto casts haste on the. Uh, person who ate the oh who blows oh. on the whistle so that one gives you an item um unfortunately um one of the other cupcakes that has gone is the one that does absolutely nothing alas alas no, that's one, no respite now <laughs> that's one very disappointed customer um so there's one two three how's it taste <laughs> they all taste really good um, uh -huh. <laughs> they all taste pretty good. Slightly stale. There's only a couple of days left of um, eatability. Um, eatability. Chat. And it becomes eatability. Ayo, Ayo, ch <laughs> Ayo chat. Ooh. High, middle, or low? Highest, highest voted is the one that JC gets as a replacement. Nice. Okay. Okay. I'll ju I'll judge those at the time. Um. In the meantime, Camellia, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm I'm guessing she avoided all that. Yes, I would I would right. imagine you were in a, <laughs> the room with. Uh... Okay. Yeah, heading over to Luca's okay. room. <laughs> give a give a knock on her door. Uh, come in. Um, hey, it's Camellia. How are you doing? Oh, hi. Um, yeah, great. This, um, brothel. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... Wouldn't have been my choice, but we're here. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but... I, I understand it. Some of those uh, other people are kind of weird. <laughs> well... There are friends. How are how are you doing? It's we haven't talked a lot, and uh, even before I met you, it seems as if you have gone through a lot. Well, I mean, I died. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I forget you weren't there for that. You know, it just kind of that wasn't even a week ago. You know, mm -hmm. that was less than a week ago. Um, you, you probably haven't had this, but have you ever had a crisis of faith? <laughs> you, you know, where, um, you don't know what to believe anymore? Like, at all? Like, at, at all? Something similar, where you are left kind of to do your own thing. The thing that you thought was what you're supposed to do and what you're supposed to follow is suddenly not really. Yeah. And, you know, I, I understand what you all said about what Actilaneth is, but she hasn't done anything bad, you know? I mean, they brought me back from death and and they and they've never said anything bad to you that I'm aware of so I, d I don't know 
But then if she's not a real, real deity, what does that mean? I don't know. Even this whole fake deity thing seems so weird. It seems as if the people who hired us are asking us to do this thing seem a bit also shady. But what you need to know is that it's okay to have faith in yourself, too. We believe in you. Ah, thank you. I'm just... I... The lady gives me faith in myself. She showed me that there is a way to believe in yourself, and, you know, with the day and the night and the light and the dark, there is always a transition. There is always an inevitable dusk. There is always an inevitable time of day where the sun lays its heads to rest and the moon begins to peek over the horizon. And it is bright enough to see, and it is bright enough to have its own beauty, and it shines brightest in the darkening sky. That's real. And she showed me power in that. But if she's not a deity, where did she get the power to do those things? Knowing that she's demonic, and I don't want to judge. You know, we have incredible, beautiful people in this world from every edge and every corner, yourself included. We all come from such different places and You know, nobody gets to choose where they're from, and for the lady to be demonic, that doesn't mean she is, you know, de demonic. I know it's the same word, but... But if she is lying, I'm not... She's never claimed to be a deity. A deity isn't someone who says, Hey, I'm a deity, believe in me, but... If she isn't who I believe, and she is from a place where there is power in deceit, a place that has that power that we're less familiar with compared to our own world, then where does that lead? Am I a pawn in something? Am I a fool? Naive? I mean, I know I've been called naive before, but... There's nothing wrong with being naive. You don't have the full picture. None of us do. There's no entirely good or bad in this world or any. We'll try to play it by ear. But from what I'm hearing from you, she doesn't seem bad and she hasn't done that. for you all bringing me back. And I don't want to die again, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but the peace that came after was it exactly as she described. There wasn't any pain or shame or 
hurt. I truthfully never felt more safe. But then, but then there's no risk. <laughs> These risks, these negatives, that's what living is all about. You have to have the bad in order to treasure the good. You ate a cupcake and it tasted good, and you got body swapped with friends. Oh, gods, don't remind <laughs> me of that. <laughs> but these trials, overcoming them, is what makes life worth living. It's not worth it if everything is just peaceful all the time. Is it? She shakes her head. Mm -hmm. And it looks like this next trial is something that you have to do. And we'll be here for you with when it comes. I'll try. And hopefully it's just I don't know what it could be. But you're right. Thank you. Of course. And she Pulls her into a hug. Yeah, she hugs. Oh, she hugs back. Maybe a little Ooh. harder than you thought <laughs> she would, but she does. <laughs> um, you <laughs> you hear a knock at the door, and she kind of just looks at you, like her eyebrows raised. Uh, uh just just a second. Uh, is is that the cuddler that beef on order for you? Oh my gods. Um. <laughs> um. What do I do? What do I do? Is there All right, you're... anything in the wardrobe? And you see she looks for like a closet or something to hide in. <laughs> <laughs> Starts climbing into hey, it. It's... <laughs> They'll do... They won't do anything you're not comfortable with. Okay? Okay. You're okay. allowed to say no. And she gets up and is walking backwards, giving her a thumbs up. <laughs> Opens the door. That's okay. Um, you see, um, <laughs> you see a human man, um, quite a kind of deep tan skin, um, short, fairly spikyish hair, very broad shoulders, um, and <laughs> he's definitely in, like, the conventional brothel outfit of not much, <laughs> um, but he do you do see he has, like, two really big, soft, snuggly blankets. Uh, hey. Yeah, uh, I was ordered to this room looking for a cuddle bug. <laughs> Go easy on her. Of course. And she <laughs> steps uh, where out is the she? room. She's... You, you look in the room, she's, you don't see her. <laughs> 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 Luca, you have company. You see her just, like, peek over the bed. And she kind of, like, falls backwards and just scrambles herself up in quick time, just stands up. Hi! I'm Luca. Hugs? Lovely. I like hugs. Yes! <laughs> Alright, you're new to this. That's fine. We can take it slow. We can just sit on either side of the bed and just talk. I really like your hair. <laughs> Uh, oh, <laughs> mm, mm. thank you so much. <laughs> really, just quietly leaving. Just the yeah, pull the door, the door. closed. <laughs> Have fun. Oh, if this was the time to have a scry spell, <laughs> the the things going on in that room are so adorable. Oh man, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, um. And with that, do you return to the uh, lounge, or do you head to get some rest or some food? They'll chill in the lounge with Winnie and friends and all of their new friends. 
just oh, talking yeah. to they, them. They are amassing Ooh. a crowd of people just going, Oh my god, they're so cute! <laughs> 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 okay, and with that, <laughs> and with that, we are swapping to team, to team mortal. <laughs> team, team out on the streets at night, chilling out, doing things, doing crimes. So, <laughs> not crimes, not here, not us, not, no. not we. Heroic no, so heroes. Super <gasps> wholesome. Super Clean wholesome, like the last thing. <laughs> I mean, come on, we just sell drugs, steal some people's stuff. <laughs> We're fine. Incapacitated an uh, old lady because she's definitely a witch. Um, so, are you all heading towards the theater? Yeah. As we're walking over, Ludo has got it. He's got a finger on his thumb, and he's like, "Okay, me, baby cheeks, Tarquin, Bipon, Camellia, Luca, Danny." Um, oh, we already got Umberlai. We need seven tickets? Three more. I'm bringing friends. Ten tickets? Okay, Not ten tickets. Not friends, but friends. Oh, I'll bring friends. I'll, sm I'll smuggle him in under the hut. Distant. <laughs> Do you bring friends with you? Yeah, under the hut. Alright, sweet. Oh, shit, <laughs> he's just actually under the hut right now. Yeah. I imagine most of the time he's under the hut. Oh. Under or on the head, yeah. <laughs> just a little head sticking out. Just. <laughs> okay, so ten tickets. Uh, probably gonna be pretty cheap. What, five each? Maybe fifty gold total. Not bad. Sure. Um. So <laughs> you see, um, thankfully, um with the kind of spiral mountainous uh, city that this is, um, there are plenty of signposts um, helping you find your way uh, towards the the theater plaza um, and the, the Genoa Playhouse itself, which it basically looks like the Albert Hall. I know, so just go with it. <laughs> um, it does have like a large dome glass ceiling, just very intricately decorated. Um, reflects beautifully the lake and at night you see um, all the aqueducts are lit up um, all the streets are lit with lanterns and different just orbs of magical light um, and there's a, as you reach the um, the theatre plaza, it's a fairly open space, um, you see some little food stalls and people, people selling t-shirts and you definitely see the scalper crowd and um, you see the entire playhouse lit up um, in this grand fashion, um, surrounded by these just huge posters and flags of, um, of the concert performer of the week. Um, I would like you all to roll a history check for me at disadvantage. Except for Bifon. I feel like Bifon might have a slightly higher chance of knowing um, this this folk. Um, but you see, you all see posters and banners. Not just posters, the high quality cloth banners. Let's be real. Um, of Kentiganastir Abelard, um, a seemingly musician virtuoso um, that is playing. Excuse me, DM. Uh huh. Is that the mom name? One D ten inspiration to Camellia. <laughs> nice. GG. Flipping Kentaganasta Abelard. <laughs> Kentaganasta mom... Abelard. Can That's you type that up, please? Mom That's came. Nice. In, mom came in strong. <laughs> That's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Your mom. <laughs> Wonder where I get it from, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, you see um, a very um, angular, artistic um, portrait of Kentiganaste Abelard, um, who is just, just, just the the 
the poster child for mysterious, charismatic, charming bardic virtuoso man playing a concert at one of the best theatre halls um, in this realm. Um, very dark hair, kind of a lovely, gorgeous, um, slightly plain outfit, but also not plain at all. Like, he's trying to put across no effort, but it's very high effort and very expensive. Um, kind of reminds you of, uh, of a little umbrella in that way. Uh, definitely <laughs> torn from the same book. Um, and just kind of this mysterious photo of him playing this grand, beautiful piano. Um, that's like uh, just a framework of a piano, just beautiful coiled, just marble st structure. It's just abhorrently, abhorrently decadent. And you see a whole bunch of people. Like, the show for this evening has only just begun. There are already like a good 60 people waiting outside the um, stage door. Um, people are just standing outside and being excited at the theatre because he's in there. Like, it's it's a ruckus. People are hype. What would y'all like to do? Uh, I guess we start looking around for some kind of shady figure, right? I guess the idea is... Uh... <laughs> We just kind of spread around and kind of just like look, you know, kind of observe for a while till we see people acting shady, maybe witness some scalping deals going down, and then approach. Mm. Okay. Um, you may roll a, I would say either an investigation or an insight check. You may help each other. So you basically get a roll at advantage and an extra roll to see kind of shady people you are able to see. Alright, uh, that's uh, 20 with advantage on insight. A dirty 20? The dirty twilight. Oh, shady dirty scalpers. Shady dirty illegal <laughs> 20s. Sinful 20. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Just, 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 so, ignore me. Brain's turned off. I'm in full DM mode. Um... You you see a lot of very obvious scalpers that are just like, ah, oh, you need tickets for the show? I have tickets. And just surrounded by people going, please, take my money. Take my house. I need to see this show. <laughs> um, but kind of over towards um, one of the corners of the kind of plaza, you see uh, someone kind of having a cup of a cup of drink, a cup of beverage, uh, a beverage, <laughs> a coffee, uh, <laughs> one of them. And uh, they are indeed in the, um, what appears to be a more uniformly outfit uh, that one would expect at an establishment such as this. Uh, kind of a fairly plain suit, um, but with a frilly, um, almost, oh, love to bring him up. Miles Edgeworth kind of cravat. Very frilly mm. judge-like. Yas, queen is like. Um, <laughs> you just see Miles Edgeworth, fuck it. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, that kind of uniform, but a dark navy colour embroidered with silver that looks like it's straight from Tarquin's hair. Um, <laughs> and they are just gently s sipping a coffee and seemingly doing uh, a similar amount of recce work seeing if they can potentially find some clientele and because they have the uniform one assumes they would have access to music uh they would have access to the actual ticket booths and they especially catch all of your eyes as you scan around I think that's our guy. So how do we play this? Okay, so we want to find out how much tickets are, because maybe we can buy it legitimately. And then, you know, we're supporting local business. We're uh, taking away from the rich and the way that they take from all the poor people. But then if it costs too much, 
then, you know, we take the tickets and then we're helping clean up the streets. We're uh, keeping crime low and we're helping an honest establishment like this theater to stay afloat. So whatever crime we commit, we are the good guys. I like it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Nice. I will be able to sleep at night. Okay, so which one of you guys want to go figure out how much the tickets cost? Mm, I think I should be the one working in the shadows in case I need to pickpocket this person. Okay. I got something else I need to look into. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll go find out. I'll be close. Okay. Ludo will kind of walk up, uh, just stride up, turn around, give his friends a double thumbs up, and then head on over to the person you in You got question. this. Okay. Uh, you see a um, fairly pale tiefling with uh, darker um, kind of swirly tattoos coming up their neck, blending into their dark, very gelled and um, organized hair. Very quaffed. Kind of takes them a second to notice you. Slight double take. Can I help? Uh, hello. I was uh, hoping to see, you know, something in the theater, but man, it's so expensive. He looks you up and down. Um with a slightly raised brow. Yes, quite. Yeah, do you, do, I mean, do you even know how much you're going for nowadays? Well, well, a few days back, they were sold out. A few weeks before that, they were sold out. Last I remember them actually being on sale, which was, goodness knows, months ago, they were approximately starting at a about 50 gold for a ticket. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Dang. Oh, my God. 50 gold for a ticket. If only there was some place I could get, uh, you know, a lot of them for even cheaper because, man, I, I need to get a lot of tickets. <laughs> mm. If only you had Kronomancy. I take it you don't. Corona, what is that? Time travel, darling. Time travel. Oh, okay. Uh, why? Uh, can, can't can I get them now? How much would they be if I picked them up now? <laughs> that was very funny of you, darling. Oh, you're serious. Oh, um... Well, the scalpers have some, but you don't really know if they're going to be real or not. Ah, oh, yes, scalpers. That's, uh... Very prestigious, very dangerous business, huh? Yes, well, most of what they're selling are fakes anyway, so no skin off of our backs. And he sips his coffee. Our backs? Who is, who is us? The Playhouse. Oh, my bad, DM. I thought I was approaching a, a shady-looking scalper person. Oh, my apologies. I thought you were going towards <laughs> the like, uniform person. I was basically trying to different like... Different conversation. Order. That was my <laughs> my, my apologies. Y'all were in um, different books just then. <laughs> just, <laughs> All right. Just, full disclosure. Sorry. I, I was a little distracted. <laughs> well, well, the past 15 minutes of uh, a, a, a close friend just came <laughs> out to me. Oh, so I'm like, I'm like, yeah, congratulations at the same time. But I'm like, uh, something about a playhouse. Uh, what's happening? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the, okay. Uh, for for the sake of brevity, uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, if you decide to talk to this guy, that is how the conversation goes. Uh, if you go up to a scalper, they would charge you uh, 50, 50 gold for a ticket at the back. Okay, and I'm gonna roll an inside. There's DM. There's yes. nothing that this guy can do to help us to get in, can he? He might. He might. Okay. No. He's, He's got a uniform on. <laughs> okay, well, well, let's, let's, we're already here. Let's try it, I guess. <laughs> Dang. I can't imagine what one must have to do to get 10 tickets. 
Do you have any kind of idea what one would need to do to get ten tickets? Hmm. Well, if you did want them, you would be talking to the right person, if I had any. Well, you're telling me you don't have any. I'm not telling you a single thing, am I? Okay, well, let's say you were telling me you had ten tickets. You would uh, presumably then tell me what I would... Gold. Of course. Yeah, a thousand gold. That's one option. But sh uh, there's probably <laughs> other options. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like DM. Incredible. Yes? I'd like to roll some checks against this man's coffee cup. <laughs> oh. What? Oh my god. What the fuck are you about to do? I am excited if you're doing what I think you're doing. Please. I just know what you're doing. So I guess if I want to get in that coffee cup, the first thing I'll probably need to do is roll a stealth check. Or Ludo should need... I just do the entirety of this with the sleight of hand? Um, Ludo would need to be aptly distracting. Um, so I would say ah. if he sees you approaching Ludo, you can make a concerted effort to get his full attention. Um... Or indeed, you can just roll a performance check to see if you can keep his attention up and then be fun. Yes, it would be a case of uh, okay. rolling still of hand. Still sleight of hand. It's just, just sleight of hand, face. okay. Yeah. You know, it's my... My mother's dying wish to see something in this theater and... I just I can't imagine what she'd do if I told her we couldn't get it. Because we got robbed of <laughs> They took all our money! <laughs> and I start, I grab his, like, I grab him by the coat and I'm like shaking him, like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Roll sleight of hand at advantage. Because <laughs> he's already being shaken by <laughs> Oh, me? Yes. <laughs> He, he's already being rocked. Oh, thank so you for that, because be that first one is a seven. Harder for him to notice. <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, what are you doing to his coffee cup? I'm breaking off a half of this uh, modified memory cupcake. <gasps> yes. The, uh, <laughs> the. Okay. I'm gonna let that shit soak at the bottom of his coffee cup. Okay. And I'm gonna whisper. This is Ludo Bayani of House Bayani. You know, the famous cooks? Yeah, we're on the VIP. Ten, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. He, 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 he manages to push Ludo off and immediately, take, overwhelmed, takes a big old sip of his coffee, um, wondering why it's rattling slightly. <laughs> um, but he takes another slap. You see, you see just confusion cross his face. Do... I'm sorry, do I know you? The... Luto of the House Bayani. Oh, you... you you've heard of me? I... You see him get a little bit choked up. Just, I... I'm ever so sorry to hear that your mother has, um, in an accident, you say. It is quite dreadful. Really sad. It was a Wulgernon attack. Oh, Wulgernon. Oh, yes. Oh. <gasps> you know, I tried to fight her, but I'm just a famous chef. You know, all I am is just this world-famous chef and... I don't have the ability to what, fight. All I know is how to cook amazing meals for the kings and the queens everywhere. What else is a man to do? Listen, loser. Yeah? Okay, come with me. And he'll, he'll take you by... Just take you by the arm and shuffle you towards the theatre entrance. Um, there is a small bit of time to uh, look back and communicate whatever gestures you would like to your companion. <laughs> Definitely double thumb, turn around, double thumbs up to be fun. 
I'll just be clapping right here. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Um, we will skip back to you two in a second, Tarquin and Bevo. Um, Ludo, you are uh, taken uh, through the through the halls, and you see um, like a slightly old human lady behind one of the ticket booths as this man brings you kind of behind one of the staff doors. <laughs> is everything all right, Cosmo? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Do you know who this is? I don't know. She just, like adjusts her glasses. <laughs> He's a very handsome young man. No, I can't say. He's a chef! <laughs> <laughs> you will respect him <laughs> and his dead mother. <laughs> Where is the stash of tickets <laughs> I put aside? The, the stash of tickets? You know what I mean, Gladys. Where are the tickets put aside for the staff? Well, we, 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 we need those to see the show. Do we, Gladys? We can just stand in fucking aisles and wave torches about seating people. We can find our own way. We don't have to... T tell me where they are, Gladys. Okay, okay. Thank you, Gladys. And then that's all right, young man. I'm sorry to hear about your mother. <laughs> Not Gladys. No, no. Fucking liar. <laughs> but uh, she gives <laughs> she gives him a key, and uh, he opens a little uh, closet uh, door that's in the back of the ticket booth, <laughs> and he gets. You see him just open a few little different lock boxes. How many tickets did you say you needed, sir? Well, you know, it's a very big family. Do you happen to have 11? Uh, let me see. Oh, the... fuck this. I'm not faffing around with this. Here. And he just hands you like a whole envelope of them. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Now you listen to me. Go. Enjoy the show. These are VIP tickets, so you will get the meet and greet experience. Wow. Well, I mean, wow! Well, okay, thank you, she love it! And these are all for tomorrow night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we couldn't get you in for tonight. I understand it's a rush, but they've... It's literally been going for 25 minutes, and the introduction is phenomenal. No, 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 I understand. Thank you so much. She... I can't tell you how happy my mother will be. Would be! Oh. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. You know what? What was your mother's name? I, I'm sorry. I, I regret to ask. I know you are so... I'm just overcome by grief. I've forgotten her name. Please do let me know. Umberly. Oh my god, you sneaky <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Umberly. By Arnie. Yeah. Well, wow, it sounds, it sounds nice. <laughs> Take a fucking inspiration point. <laughs> <laughs> that got that got me. Um, <laughs> oh, no. We we will make sure you you flag to me tomorrow. The seat you're sitting in, and we will. Put an engraving on that chair in her memory. Oh, thank you. Thank you so of much. <laughs> of course. Now, please. Um, oh, here's also 25% um, off at the, the restaurant. Um, mm, thank don't you. have the fish. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'll go. I need to go. <sighs> okay. D take care of yourself, okay? Be strong. So strong. I'm so, I'll be so strong. Thank you. And, um, in, if you could name a dish after me, or a, just a spoon or something. What is your favorite protein? Look, man, I don't claim to know the difference between the different foods. I just... Okay, my own well, mother cooks the <laughs> recipes for me, so... My mother taught me how to cook. I know. That's why. Um, so I don't know what the fuck a protein is. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, what, what is your name? 
Cosmo. Cosmo, thank you so much. I will make the most delicious dish in your honor. And her honor. You're both just like holding each other's shoulders yes. at this point. <laughs> <laughs> just the, the bro hug. I'm like, I'm like, uh -huh, and I'm like looking over his shoulder trying to count how many tickets are in the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> there are 12 tickets in the envelope <laughs> nice um and he he looks at you and he says further up the hill there are a fair few temples and I don't know if you're a religious man or not but there are some you might find of interest um file 4 has a great a great temple for loss and sadness and grief and um oh, hey, God. yes thank you I'll go there right now probably I mean you don't have to go right now I, I, it's still very soon um of course Viero has one here but they don't really fit the fucking reef right now you need someone who knows what you're going through <laughs> I can probably I'll find someone outside okay thank you Take care. And he'll escort you back out of the ticket booth and take you to the front door. Gladys! Thank you! Is that, um, goodbye, goodbye, sir. Oh, that's a good photo. <laughs> and, uh, me in the meantime, what are <laughs> Loot, what are Tarquin and Beefon doing? And what is there for us to do? You see some scalpers, you see some groups of uh, fangirls. Um, you do see some, uh, you do see a uh, kind of small wagon pull up. Uh, wagon, a carriage, not a wagon. <laughs> a small carriage pull up, just a like one horse carriage. And um, a couple of men get out. Oh fuck, we got radio blasted. We're already late. The show's been going for 25 minutes and I heard the introduction is everything. Fuck, man, I can't believe you did this. Me? What did I do? I could have, I just drank as much as you did. Sh shut the fuck up. Um, you do see two very drunk, very suited and booted men who appear to have tickets for tonight and who are running late and who are inebriated. I peek into the ticket booth and just pluck Cosmo's back it away real quick. Do I have to roll a <laughs> slide ahead oh. for that? Oh, um, ooh. I mean, he's wearing it. He would be like, he's in oh. the uh, room. I figured he just had like a separate right jacket now. as well. I got you. Um, you do see, would he be? Yeah, no, he's on a break. He wouldn't be wearing his fucking blazer. Um, no, you see, uh, yeah, you see his blazer on the bench where uh, just next yeah, to where he all. was talking. Just, yeah, so you just picked up. for about two yeah. minutes. Just, yeah. just, yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> Tarquin? <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> so do I. You you first. So if you manage to pass us one of the people that receives the ticket, I could be the one complaining that I already gave you the ticket, and you tell me, no, no, just give it to me and you can enter tomorrow. And perhaps those two drunk guys will believe it and give you the tickets as well. Oh. What is your plan? I was... Now, now Tarquin, I, I know this is going to be hard for you. <laughs> but could you put on this blazer? Oh, you want me to be and... the one? I'm going to walk over to them and uh, tell them that we will be taking their carriage to put around back. And you take the carriage, and instead of going around back, you bring it back to the inn and pick everybody up. Good, I can ride the carriage, of course. <laughs> you can steal the fucking carriage? So, I'm so sorry. As soon as, as soon as you get in the carriage, you can totally throw the blazer out. I don't want to cover up uh, all of this. <laughs> <Magnificence>. <laughs> You have here it would be a shame but uh, yes of course i appreciate it so much fellas fellas hey how are you doing this evening we're in a rush what's going on 
Oh, so we just uh, just need your um, your your crop and everything. Um, my my good man here. Um, did, come 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 now come now. Uh, is going to uh, take your carriage for you and take it around back. Uh, 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 where Hello, is gentlemen. Please uh, don't worry about anything. I will take care of all. You only have to do is enjoy. So I'm gonna take your carriage. Don't worry about anything. I know that maybe you are a little bit too excited, maybe a little bit drunk. That is all right. Don't worry. I will take care of everything. I take care of your horse. I take care of your garage. I make sure that the wheels don't fall off. Uh, don't worry. I got this. Um, you see one. He's of an them excellent just... pilot. He has his own air. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see, you see one of them turn very confused. Like Tarquin's already probably on the carriage at this point, but one of them turns confused. Yeah, don't, even let don't them. worry. <laughs> yeah, Not they're... even a scratch. Goodbye. They have no, like, reaction time. Why wasn't he wearing a shirt? Hmm? He wasn't oh, wearing he a shirt. Oh, he is all about his business. Blazer only. It's just the wind blows. I told you, he has his own airship. He's used to being up in the air. Oh, Lots of know, wind up there. It's nice and cold and chilly and everything like that. It keeps him, friend. like, focused. Yeah, please ignore my friend. I think that's fucking hot, and I think you should roll that across all of your stuff here. Make a vast We're agreement. trying to. So what? But you know, what did you need? Oh, you need the. Cr here you go. Just yeah, I just, I just, I just take it and just toss it behind me. It's not quick. I'm just trying to keep them occupied. <laughs> Was there anything else you needed? Do we need like a um, ticket? No. Or no, 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 no. <sighs> We know you here, gentlemen. Let me just take you um, straight to the front door. Gladys! Gladys, you in there? Gladys is not in here. Just go right ahead. Just go right inside. Let me get the door for you. Okay. Cheers. And they they head in. They head in. <laughs> Ta -ta. So, so to, to clarify, you have stolen their carriage. Yeah. Um... Mm -hmm. And are taking it back to the inn for or the brothel for tonight. We're gonna show up in style. Yes, and I don't <laughs> think I'm gonna give it back, you know. <laughs> the, the tickets you that Ludo. I'm already friends with the horse. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you, the horse. You, you know, it's funny you say that, Tark. When you see a gray, beautiful, dappled horse. Oh. Um. <laughs> dimes. Dimes. Perfect noise. Um, beautiful silver mane. Um, it's as fantastic as you are. No, obviously not as fantastic as you are, Tucker. No, no, of course is. not. But, but he's getting close, yeah. He's getting close, yeah. Nice. Um, Ludo I'm learning out. that the secret goal here is that Tarquin really, really wants a mount or a vehicle of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> Fair Happy to for oblige. D &D. Fair if I had for a D &D. wonderful chair to put on top of this horse. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah. When I get back to the inn, I will take a chair and I will put it right there. So everybody knows where the driver's seat is. Yes. yes. Um, it is a fairly <laughs> small carriage. It would, it would be a squish of for six but or more but that can be arranged um and ludo quickly comes out um not long after covered in tears um with 12 tickets for tomorrow's concert performance ludo like walks up to the carriage and like climbs in without like a moment of hesitation like he's just like yeah this is this was always part of the plan <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're getting in the carriage and going back to the brothel. Mm -hmm. Riding through the town in style. Um, who's driving the carriage? Who do you Tarkin think? The, the captain. With the, the captain. That is insulting. Why are you asking that? <laughs> I'm just double checking so I know who all of the civilians are staring at as you gallop through the town streets. Um, around the hills, past these beautiful um, buildings and uh, people dressed only in the best clothing. Um, Tarquin, your hair is blowing in the breeze as you control um, this incredible stallion. Please roll an animal handling check to see how well that is going for you. Right. 
Oh, this that is Sun Eleven. And it's functional. <laughs> <laughs> there are a couple of uh, skid starts and you know reverses as you have you realize you've gone down the wrong street. Um, but they are done in style and with charisma nonetheless. Um, and you shortly thereafter arrive back at the brothel with not only 12 tickets for tomorrow's concert, but a whole ass dead ass horse and carriage. <laughs> and that is where we're going to take a break. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> This is not how I thought that would go. <laughs> I, I, I have to say, I'm I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the game. Woo! I... Yes, on a more serious note, welcome, Val, to the game. It is so wonderful to have you! We've been mm -hmm. waiting so long for time to work out so we can bring you on. Oh, it's Yay. good to be here. <laughs> Hell yes. I, yes. I, I would... I was really expecting to be part of, of, of the heist, but once the, 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 the cupcake saga started, I just had to go with it. <laughs> that in itself is its own heist, I feel. And you made like 120, what, six gold from that? Yeah, I made, I made a note of it. I 100, think 126 gold. that's more than the whole party has currently combined. Yeah. Um, so. Well, now we have two expensive-ass tickets to sell. <laughs> yeah. yeah this is very fun or two more people to bring along i was thinking about it captain barman is pretty loud <laughs> oh that... brother another round yeah it's good music i don't know if they have, have the decorum. absolutely <laughs> no plans to walk into this place and be stuffy i'm warning y'all now <laughs> oh, shit. I'm gonna be like Robert De Niro and Cape Fear up in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you have successfully gained tickets. You have half a mind, a mind modify memory cupcake left. Mm -hmm. Because it is only half a modify memory cupcake, the effects will be somewhat subdued, but not in a way that will scupper any of your plans for tomorrow night. Um, cause that would be fucking sucky. Um... Oh, DM, before uh, I forget, <gasps> one thing I wanted yes. to do is sometime between uh, now and t tomorrow night, when we head to the theater, uh, Ludo would like to prepare a dish made of possum meat. And possum. like prepare, prepare it really nice and really well and just make like a maybe a possum meat sandwich. Something one can eat with their hands. Maybe, I don't know, what's more what fancy than a sandwich? Have you, have you caught a possum? <laughs> he, well, uh, well first, he needs to, first he needs to catch a possum. Yes, that is <laughs> ideally, that, that is step one. And then, <laughs> so uh, he would like to look for a possum and then probably make some delightful little pita pocket. Thank you, Sam. The little uh, delightful little pita pocket that he will call the, uh, the Cosmo and deliver the following evening. The Cosmo. Yeah. Oh. That is just fucking that is awesome meat. That, pheno I, that's phenomenal. Absolutely I, phenomenal. Anybody, do you, <laughs> do you, you guys get why it's a possum? No, I do not, unfortunately. Because possums pretend to be dead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's brilliant. God, God, you already got your inspiration, Lizzie. I don't know what to tell you. Mm. That is, that is phenomenal. Um, I, I also like that you were just like, yeah, my plan is to make, um, make, make a possum, make some possum <clears throat> food. It's like, great. What, what, what about the po You got a possum? It's like, nah, that's step one. <laughs> like, yeah, no, no, went, step one is. You went to step three. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. It's just like, yeah, I would like to uh, stab Actilla in the face. It's like, great. How are we getting there? And when and what and how, how and why? <laughs> so <it was> like... <laughs> just a, a nicely prepared little gift for our new friend oh. Cosmo for their hard work. Oh my god. The Cosmo Peter rap. Got him. That was, that was amazing. And on that note, we will be back in about 10 to 15 minutes, so please do go get some snacks, get some Peter, P Peter Pocket Possums, if you have any, <laughs> get some get Try some saying drinks. that 10 times fast. Peter Pocket Possum, 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 Peter Pocket
<laughs> yeah, you actually did pretty well. <laughs> Started off strong. Dang it! <laughs> Give me time. Um, and yes, we will see you all shortly. If you have any comments, questions, anything, leave them in the chat, and I'll answer them when I get back from break. Bye. Bye. Herb. Herb. Herb.
we're back. Hey, 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 hello, welcome back. I'm so hello. Cool. Hey. Playing D &D hello. With our friends. Oh, hello, hello, uh -huh. hello. <laughs> I'm not a Is there anyone hello. in chat we haven't said <laughs> hi to yet? <laughs> hi, uh, Scorpius mm. Lair, Subdued Hoos, Roxory, Urubs, Mark Maka! Maka! <laughs> Would, uh, JC, have you anything to say uh, to Maka Maka? Hey, everybody. <laughs> Maka's here! Hi, Maka! <laughs> Hi Maka. 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 I have Maka. social anxiety. I'm sorry if you do. What's funny is I have, I had like, what's funny is I had, I had like stopped by her place earlier and dropped off a cake. Oh. <laughs> she asked, "Oh, what, what effect does this have on me?" That's a good question. Roll, oh, nice. roll, roll 2d20, Maka. <laughs> roll 2d20. We'll find out. We all saw your drawing, Maka. It's so cute. It's beautiful. Ah. Y'all are beautiful. Um, who else we uh, got? Sandwich came in. Cat came sandwich, in. Sandwich, cat. The Raiders. Sandwich crafty. Yes, hello. Such talent. Uh, I see a date as well. Oh, of course, a date. A little Miss Franny and a crowbar raid. Thank you so much once again, crowbar. I love that Crow always comes and waits us. It makes me feel warm. Go and check out Crow. Streams every Wednesday just before these sessions are live. He's playing through um, Tomb Raiders 1 through 3 at the minute. He's, he's great egg. We love him. We love Crow. Very good egg. Um, as is Fanny. We love Fanny too. We love everybody. A a six plus eight. Quick maths. Fourteen. Oh, my brain hurts from all the quick maths. Um, what did you oh, get? 14. Pull up a calculator. Um. Oh, you got weakness um to physical attacks for a day. So don't get punched, <sighs> Marco. Don't don't get punched. Or do. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce <Shut. me> daddy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 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 Sounds like a dare. Um, right. D so. Do it, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome back, everyone. It's lovely to have you, and thank you again for joining in and chatting. It is great to see you. it makes us feel so happy please continue to we do see you we can't respond to you during the session but we do see you and uh let's get back into it shall we so the gang uh reconvenes <laughs> Val. the gang <laughs> reconvenes um at the brothel um camellia and danny you do hear a gentle clop 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 and uh and uh some they're not they're not squeaky wheels at all you just hear a gentle carriage uh pull up to um the brothel uh, I just... and before oh. long you hear um a very triumphant gaggle of luto tarquin and bifon uh re-enter the the brothel hey Ah, oh, the triumphant heroes return. Tickets in hand. Bravo, yeah. bravo. I Danny managed has to get enough for forgotten about the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to get enough for all of us. <laughs> Do I want to know how you got that? Sure. We... Do you want to know how we got a carriage? That's Wait, you have a what? still wearing the blazer. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we found the carriage. It's right here <laughs> outside. <laughs> Danny hops off the stool he was sitting on and very slowly makes his way outside. <laughs> there is indeed. Um, it's kind of funny. The horse kind of looks like Tarquin. Um, if Tarquin <laughs> was a horse. Um, but not as grand, obviously. Um, and there is a, a fairly pristine, uh, nice carriage. Fits about five or six people. Horse Quinn. <clears throat> oh, Luto. Uh, by, by the way, I have to give you something. 
Oh, and yeah. he like rummages through like a pouch, uh, and he hands Luto thirty gold. The uh, the <laughs> cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit of a tough crowd, but I did manage to sell all the cupcakes. Uh, here's your cut. Inside. <laughs> Roll a deception oh for God. us, please, Danny, and an insight, please, Ludo. Fucking thirty. I only Is got a twenty-five. Though? I only got a twenty-five, though. You only. What do you mean you only got? A oh, 25? I only got a twenty-five. I'll probably beat it. You got a twenty-five for insight. Yeah, I only. I only got a twenty-five. Uh, Danny, no pressure. You've got to beat a twenty-five uh, on your deception I, check. I did. I did not. I got a sixteen. No. Danny. <laughs> Such a uh, can't hide secrets. <laughs> you yeah, know, it, yeah. What's what's up, Luto? We we just met each other, and you know, I like to think that we can be friends. But you know, friends, uh -huh. we'll we'll trick <laughs> other people, we'll scam other people, but uh -huh. we never scam each other, Danny. He's still gonna try to, because it's like. He, he doesn't realize Ludo's on onto him. He's like, oh, what do you mean? I mean that if you scam me now on this little sale, then you're not going to get the 10% when I ask you to sell these theater tickets. Oh, sorry. And, and it's like, like his eyes just get really, really mm. big. It's just me in the brothel just live reacting to this. Just, <laughs> just keys over there like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking wild, dude. He's pulling your leg. You, you so, gotta talk to him. <laughs> all right, what's, where's, where's my calculator at? <laughs> Give me one second. <laughs> I know what it is too. I did the math in my head. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ludo's Ludo. dumb about some things, but he's smart about other things. Ludo about to become smite. All right. He ain't messing uh, around when it comes Ludo to been going to school. So, in baby. school. <laughs> <laughs> Not Kumon. You shut up. So, you shut so up. Real, man, some man. Real. Real quick, for for, 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 for for Danny's share, are we rounding up or down? Round up for friends. Round up for friends? <laughs> All right. So I'm... God, I'm terrible at math. I know how much I'm keeping. I just don't know. It's, I'm it's trying third? to make you an offer you can't refuse. If you sold them all for 126, it's uh -huh. 13 for you and 113 yep. for me. All right. So obviously Danny would know that. I'm just an idiot. So uh, Danny, Danny hands you the one thirteen, uh, kind of looking a little shamed faced as he does so. But he he has to try because that's just in his nature. It's okay. You know I understand. You know you want to have the heart of the hustle, but uh, mm -hmm. tell you what. You know we stay friends. We stay honest. Maybe next time, instead of getting a percentage, you get a cut like the rest of us do. How does how how, how does that work? Well, right now we split it <coughs> four ways. But if we have a certain purple-hatted dwarf with us, then we'll split it five ways. Uh, that sounds fatter to me. And he like extends his hand to shake yours. He shakes his hand at the same time, handing over, palming the two remaining tickets. Oh. Unless did did Bifon and Tarquin come up with any good ideas on the way back for who these tickets could go to? I think that's a great idea. Do we have tickets for Luca already? Yeah. So seven <laughs> is including the it's the five of us, and then Luca mm. and Umberly, and then your three friends, and then that leaves us two extra. Yeah. No. Nice. I'm good. Yeah, we should sell them. Yeah. So yeah, he'll palm over the remaining two tickets and be like, uh, you know, 10% stays good. And then maybe later on, you're just part of the crew. Well, I'll, I'll travel with you as I can, but sometimes my business will take me elsewhere. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Well, your job's not over yet, unfortunately. And he gives you a oh. pat. That's for tomorrow night. And he goes to go finish the kebabs. 
<laughs> but have you already caught the possums? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> mm, this is true. Well, I have till tomorrow night to catch the possums. But I guess possums are most active at night. I don't know. When are, let me go Google that. When are possums most active? They are I mostly I think you're nocturnal. right. They're nocturnal, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll go out tonight after the, after <laughs> I, I'm finishing these cold kebabs. Before or after Umberlay? Uh, a before. sneak out. Sneak out before. <laughs> Leave her waiting. Come back all, you know, heady with the, the, the thrill of the hunt still on me. <laughs> just like dressed like Rambo and he's like hey, you've been hunting he's like it got possum <laughs> I did and now I have found my prey and he slams the door shut <laughs> oh my fucking god so what is everyone else doing for the rest of the evening well as I've told, to mo mo most of the cupcakes, uh, Danny's pretty much done. Like, he uh, sips on the last of, of whatever ale he ended up getting. I don't know if we ever said. Yeah, and then... you know, you guys, it's all included, baby. <clears throat> all right. Well, yeah, he's just, he's just chilling. Uh, after a little bit, he starts heading to his room. Okay. Uh, do you take any company with you? Nah. Fair enough. Uh, Camellia, what are you getting up to tonight? Uh, same as Danny. Just chilling, then night nights. Sweet. Uh, Bifon. Bifon walks out of his room, sees Ludo entering his with eye black and bushes <laughs> stuck to his back. <laughs> Goes downstairs, hangs out, gets to know, uh, what's the Deboxi's name again? Terilia. Chats with Terilia, has a good time, hangs out with, uh, with we'll, Bird and Frog. We'll, we'll get, we'll get to some RP for that. Oh, we'll sorry, just I, put the, I put my voice notes as well, sorry. <laughs> my secrets! <laughs> 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 Shit! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, just getting to know her, that's all. And then they hang out with Frog and Bird, and then hopefully get a long rest, because I, I still miss some HP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And uh, Tarkin, what are you getting up to for the evening? First, I would like to get some fruit for the horse, and then, after oh. I take care oh. of him, oh. I would God. like to go to the room and wait for whoever is sent there. Okay. Who shall we start with? I'm very intrigued to see what Tarkin's up to actually. Let's let's start out with Tarquin. <laughs> <laughs> so Tarquin, you make your I think we need different music for this. I'm not sure what music we need, but we'll, we'll go with something. Um yeah, we'll go with some of this. Um Yeah. So Tarquin, you head to your room and uh after a uh short while you hear knock at the door that is open come in um you see a kind of dark plum um tiefling woman walk in uh with this just very plain but floaty black dress i heard you needed company oh yes just the companion I requested. Please, come inside. My name is Uma. Nice to meet you, Uma. You must know who I am, right? <laughs> <laughs> I do, yes. Good, then we're up for a good start. Hmm. So what does a hero like you need me for? Well, you must have heard um, my special request. Uh, have they informed you about what I said? Um, she smiles, and you see she goes to take a hair clip out of her kind of pinned up hair. And as she does, and her hair cascades and she brings her hand across her face, you see as she very swiftly transforms into a goliath woman similar getup, similar colors 
Um, but definitely grows a couple of feet in size and breadth, strength, muscles. She is a changeling. Oh, nice trick. <laughs> that is very handy, right? Well, you, you needed someone strong. Yes, uh, I... Well, I need someone who can truly keep up with me tonight. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Well, yes, uh, I, I understand that this might not be your usual task, and that it might be a little more demanding than usual. Do you know how many men say that to a guy like um, No, no, really. Most do you get a lot of people here? We do. Well, I think my need is uh, something particular, but uh, don't worry. Um, I just need you to stay active and uh, to bear with me no matter how intense things can get. That is what you're paying for. Yes. You will need endurance and stamina to handle what's about to happen. May I ask what is about to happen? Well, it can get a little wild, but uh, don't worry. Just come with me. She follows. Are we right. fading to black or what? No, no, no. It, it's, okay. it's a little bit more. Okay. Don't worry. I'm not going to no, traumatize you're good. anyone. You're good. <laughs> all right. Now, I'm all good, my do as I do. Mm. Get on your knees with me. <laughs> Say please. Can you please, uh, beautiful lady, get on your knees for me? Of course, Hera. She gets on her knees. I like your attitude. <laughs> All right. I just think this is the perfect music for this scene, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, fair point. <laughs> no, it's great, it's great. <laughs> Don't change it. Don't you dare. I'm gonna change it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, All right. Um... Now, this is what we're going to do. And I'm going to kneel as well in front of her and change my position to uh, a meditating one. I need you to keep a close eye on me. And your role tonight is very crucial. You have to watch me closely. And if you see me start to get restless or, you know, something is going wrong, you will wake me up immediately. Can I count on you to keep watch of me? She she looks kind of initially quite confused. Hmm. So, you are able to stay up all night, right? I did say I'm up for a challenge. All right. So if you see me having any nightmares, you will wake me up immediately. I will. Wonderful. Thank you. Then let us begin. And I proceed to meditate all night. In front of her. <laughs> oh, fucking god. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> Bravo. I'll be honest, that's <laughs> not what I was expecting. I thought it was going to be something chair related, but that. that <laughs> I figured that oh, out no, no. when we started the session. I was like, nah. Oh. No, I had you figured out even last week when you said it first. I was like, oh, I know what he mm -hmm. wants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, that is what Tarquin is up to. <laughs> um, let's go... I think we have to save Possum for last. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's go to Bifon next. So, you are hanging out with um, Tirilla, Tr Tirilla in the lounge, with uh, surrounded by Bird and, Bird and Frog, and uh, Camellia and Danny, who are also just enjoying the lounging area, maybe heading to bed. So, did you want that extra company tonight, or a different night, or both? Ah, uh, tomorrow will be fine. <laughs> be fine. I have fine. plans. <laughs> you gonna hopefully you get off on time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's up to you to tell me when I get off. <laughs> Well, we've got VIP tickets to the theater, so... What? 
we have? Make sure you and your chosen guests are ready. Okay. <clears throat> okay. No. Um. Mm. Composed. Sure need to stay composed. Oh my gosh! I'm so excited. <laughs> have you ever seen him <laughs> perform before? No. This will be my first time. <gasps> Do you know of Kenta Canastia Abelard? I know it's hard to say. Oh, it's simple. It's Kenta Canastia Abelard. <laughs> uh huh. But uh, do you know Kentaganaski? Okay, you have a point. I've had some ale. Uh, have <sighs> you have you heard of Kentaganaski or Abelard before? Not a word. Tell me about him. Mm. He is very saucy. Very, uh, well, he has the looks to work at a place like this, let me tell you. Mm. Uh, and he is just a master on the piano. Oh. And his crooning voice, and he does a bit of everything. A little bit of singing, a little bit of piano, a little bit of... Just the thing where he, he directs the band. Ah, oh, it's incredible. Good hands. Mm-hmm. Get you all worked up. It's pretty good, yeah. Well, then I'm glad that I have those tickets, then. Too. Make sure How did you, you get those. I have my ways. <laughs> I I see I see you. What can so... I say? I'm a charmer. <laughs> so I know you said it's uh, my choice for the rest of our company. Mm -hmm. I do have a little special way of helping those who don't quite know what kind of company they want. If you're interested. Didn't say I didn't know, just would like for you to choose. Hmm, how but go on, guess me. So, That's fine. You see, she pulls out a deck of cards. Very elaborate um, decor on the back. Um, I think Bifon would safely know these to be some form of tarot cards. Mm -hmm. So... Let us figure out who would be best for our company tomorrow night. Now I feel especially better doing this method now that I know what's at stake. <laughs> I don't want to be biased choosing just my best friends to go to the concert with us tomorrow. The night is still yeah. about you after all. So I could see how that'd be a little strange working here. I want you don't to want anybody to feel left out. And if it's fate, well, then no one can argue. So, pick for me three cards. And she lays three. out before you, and you might be hearing, bitch made some, because bitch is crazy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she lays out 23 tarot cards. I would like you to pick a number between 1 and 23. For your first card. Twenty three. Twenty three. And the last. And his lucky number seventeen. <laughs> it can't lead you astray. <clears throat> Ooh, interesting choices. Okay. So, your first card. Are you ready for your fates? Roll me. Your first card is the Spire. Reverse. The Spire... Are you aware of the Lorena set of cards for tarot? Might be slightly Please different. Please do tell. Well, you get your different tarot cards depending on people's beliefs and locations. So, there are equivalencies, but there might be some new ones in there you're less familiar with. Mm -hmm. The Spire, the tenth card, indicates when 
normal precision and growth and society so for us for this situation it would be finding someone who is more accustomed to the societal ways who may perhaps go to the theater more often in fact it is a reverse maybe we should take someone less convenient less conventional for the theater environment maybe someone who doesn't go so often someone who could maybe experience something like this for the first time that sounds time. wonderful I mean it'd even be my first time hearing this guy mm, exactly maybe that is who that represents mm. the second card <gasps> one of my favorites the skimmed stone the skimmed stone is the 17th card and it is just regular which indicates purpose and balance and consequences so whoever we take whether their first time or not it will have lasting consequences on their life maybe we need someone with untapped music potential or Someone who could really get a lot from going to the theater. Interesting. I have some people in mind. And the last card, the 17th that you chose. Also, the number of the last we pick. The Two of Tears. I see. The Two of Tears is a difficult card. It's just one full of emotion, fueled by the past, mostly. It, uh, it represents a mix of openness, but someone who is openly caring, but openly frustrated at the same time. Someone who's very open with their emotions. Maybe someone who needs this experience. Hmm. I think I have an idea who we can take based on these. If you are happy to pursue. It is decided. Wonderful. Would you like any other fortunes read while we are here? Hmm. Yes. One. Okay. It's a, I don't know, can you coach me on this? What's a good question for me to ask? I am concerned about our futures. What lies Between me and the... you, we are... We're on a job right now. I can try to see how the job will go. How the job will leave you. Or what obstacles you may face. If any of those ring true to you. you I'm curious as if this is even the right job for us. We can sort that out. And she shuffles the deck. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just painted over some old business cards because I was like, I feel like this would just be way better nice. to have physically because like, this is just so cool. They're not decorated at all in the slightest, but I'm just like, oh, it's so cute. Okay. Appreciate the effort. Oh, I, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> this was happening it's whether I wanted to do better use for or business or cards. Right? They're fucking old ones as well. They're not good. Okay. Pick, a, pick another three numbers for me, please. Six. Thirteen. Six. Twenty-one. Apologize, the cards do like to stick to each other. The static. <laughs> Take your time. How's it going there, friends? <laughs> you Sweet. see, friends is. Getting a lot just, of attention. Yeah, friends is 
like standing next to two halfling twins who are just like brushing his feathers and just make just cooing over him <laughs> for lack of a better word. <laughs> Enjoy. Are you ready for your fates? Indeed. The first card. Interesting. It is a familiar card. The skimmed stone, yet this time in reverse. Ooh, that is already pretty, <laughs> pretty considerable. When you think of the skimmed stone, and she shows you the card, and um, should have said this before, so my apologies. Um, the image on it that I haven't drawn yet. Uh, you see, <laughs> <laughs> you see a skimmed stone, uh, kind of leaving like three ripples. Um, growing smaller and smaller the further out it gets, mm -hmm. but more um, taller the further out they get. And in reverse, mm. it almost appears as if the card is the stone is coming towards you. It's like a weird perspective trick. Um, it's like a hollow card. <laughs> it's like you just move it side to side and it changes angles. It's like well, gotcha. When reverse. This skimmed stone, it can mean a few things, but all come to the central point of you being affected. Whatever this job is, it is, you are a crucial part of it. But that also means you might be at risk. Be careful. Um, but, that sounds about right. Uh, right? The next... Ah, the Sky with Heart. <laughs> that Ooh. is a slightly more hopeful card. Uh, this is the... Fourth card in the pet. Oh my god, this is actually freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ooh! <laughs> the mm, the skyward heart is the fourth card. It symbolizes death, love, and the beyond. Whatever this job is, it will bring war and peace alike. May I ask if it's not too personal if you have lost people to this cause already? Yeah, actually. And love? What about it? Has love been found on this journey? I mean, not you're yet. staying in a brothel. <laughs> <laughs> and the beyond what you are doing is difficult it may even tear your group apart just a little bit but it is for a higher purpose a worthy cause but it is good it is a good sign for the Skyward Heart in reverse would suggest explicitly giving up or soullessness. So the fact that the Skyward Heart is indeed going skyward, that is hopeful. And the fact that the Skim Stone is coming towards you, there is push and pull to this job. There is sacrifice, but there is gain. I suppose that leaves us with the final card. What would that be? The advisor. The second card. Don't mind me. <laughs> The advisor is a card of 
knowledge and kindness and charity. <sighs> With all of these together, I can't help but see that this is a difficult job that you are on and that putting your hearts into it will bring you knowledge. Giving your knowledge back to the job will bring you peace and it will bring you love. It may also bring death, but not a death. Not a total. Sometimes the cards signify death as a new beginning. As with the deity Virso, if you're familiar. They are a deity of fire. Many use that as destruction. But sometimes a field of crops needs to be raised so that it may grow fresh once again. That is a most profound reading. I keep telling me. Hmm. Good thing I'm an adventurer. That all sounds right up my alley. It is a worthwhile adventure. Do stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as much uh, as you can. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And she shuffles the cards back away and pockets them. So, uh, did you need um, company for the evening? I'm gonna go upstairs, get some rest. You can join me if you'd like. I shall do. And okay. <laughs> both head up to the room for the evening. With these we'll new... get to know each other a little bit yeah. before we bring other people in. Exactly. All right. That uh, I'm a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck you up to over there. Because mm. there are <laughs> there are a lot like there's a good enough variety in the cards when I made them that like. There, there are some broader meanings, but there's stuff mm -hmm. that's, like, so blatantly not, like, to do with the quest. Like, stuff like, um, um, devotion, respect, peace, like, yeah, not really. Like, memory, nostalgia, talent, not really. Um, home, nature, nurture, like, none of these are specifically, like... Related to the fact we got those three specifically, <laughs> um, <laughs> what? I um, uh, regret. No, it's great. I'm happy. I'm just like, whoa, ayo. Hey, I'm just glad you got me there by using a different deck. Yeah. Well, again, kind of like with D and D. If I don't know what the Fey, what canon D and D Feywild is. I'm not going to bastardize it. I'm going to make my own fucking version. If I, mm. it, you know, I'm d I don't want to bastardize the tarot because that's a real thing. So I was like, I'm going to make my own deck. And it, it means what it means or it doesn't mean. It's not touching anything the original tarot decks do. Ah, like I said, Take I like it when him. you keep me honest. I had to RP it because I ain't know what none of them cars were. Mm -mm. <laughs> but I can send y'all a full description. I'll put it on the uh, on the side. Oh, you know I want it. <laughs> hype about yeah. No, I'm. Whoo! I'm warm. That was. Woo! Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna start doing redeems with your deck. Yeah, right. Like whoo! <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Um. Yeah. Shit. That's cool. All right. And on that note, um, I think we need this music now, um, because I do believe it is possum time. <laughs> oh damn! It's off the clock. <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at the time? Oh my god! Um, so Is that as before Final Fantasy VIII ballroom scene slowed and tap. No, this is uh. No, it was earlier. You should play oh, Monster Hunter earlier. music. We're going on a hunt. <laughs> <laughs> 
I do have it in, uh, I think, one of the other playlists. Um, okay. No, there's no Final Fantasy VIII so far today. It's mostly been 12. Oh, no, it was um, False to Fantastica from um, Final Fantasy XV. The... Oh. But it was um, a menu version from... Um, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, theater Rhythm. The newest Theater Rhythm thing. Okay. In like a main menu. I don't know. I just found it. I was like, oh, this is a bot. I thought I recognized it. I didn't yeah. think to actually look at it. <laughs> Getting everybody. Um, except for maybe Epic Gaming Jams. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we need your Epic Gaming Jams! Um, <laughs> so. Ludo. Possum time. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is such good possum. Is he telling anyone where he's going, or is he just going? Uh, I guess we shall find out. I mean, okay, how about this? Uh, as you guys are still hanging out in the lounge, you see Ludo come back downstairs, <laughs> and he is, yeah, he's all, like, camouflaged up with, like, bits of tree tucked into his clothes to make him look kind of like a moving bush or, like, some kind of <laughs> part of, like, part of a forest did, did you go did you go into your room to get dressed while umbrella was in there mm -hmm. okay that would be a conversation okay <laughs> did 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 you ask her to 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 camouflage you and did you let her know uh why if so oh uh probably <laughs> or, or didn't... did you just go in there and do it yourself and then just be like okay my baby <laughs> yeah that, probably... pigs, can you zip me up please <laughs> 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 Just like did it to himself while you know having like small talk with her, I'm like oh you just wait till I come back later. Oh my god, you're gonna this get it. This... <laughs> what are you doing? Why does it smell like shoe polish? <laughs> um, do I want to know? Exercise, baby. <laughs> you exercise is good. Yeah. Um, once once with the outfit. I want to make sure I fit in with the local surroundings. Right. Have well, fun. How do I look? Like a bush. Good, good, good. Be back later. <laughs> Be safe. Now, probably on the way out, I'll stop by the table <laughs> where everybody is, and like I'll see if there's any like little bits of food left that I'll like pick at while I'm just kind of standing around looking at um, everybody. Friend, friends, friends is on it. Well, hey, hey, mob, mob, like uh, <laughs> the gentle swatting motion without actually swatting. <laughs> um, Danny, you have been mm. fairly confused about the presence of a giant frog and a, a um, seagull in this room. It's just not really come up yet. Um, but you do see that apparently they are a uh, present company of the uh, group that you have become a part of. Yeah, but I'm from the Fae, so that doesn't really phase me too much. <laughs> true. Very Fae. true. Uh. Very true. A. Um, yeah. <laughs> Neither does his current outfit as he's leaving. I just <laughs> glance at him, shrug, yeah. and then go back to what I was doing. <laughs> Hey, Ludo. Hey, Camelia. What you doing? <laughs> Catch a possum. No, no, no. At that, Danny does, does turn around. <laughs> <laughs> you are doing what now? I'm going to uh, catch a possum. Aha. Uh -huh. Probably they have oh. them here, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Why? Oh, no, it's, it's to... so smart. So the man that I trick so that we get the tickets, he thinks my mother died. My mother's not dead. So I think uh, he asked if I make him a food for him. And I was like, oh, what's a good food? And I'm like, oh, a possum, they pretend to die. So it's like a joke on a joke. Okay. <laughs> oh, I actually didn't know they did that. Be careful, they have crafty hands and not a lockpick. Hmm, okay. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> well, enjoy your search. Thank you. Can't, 
can't believe you've done this, Dome. <laughs> Bringing the lockpicking possum back. <laughs> Need a game about a lockpicking possum. That would be so good. Anyway. All right, so Actually, you head out. Camellia, you know, like, some kind of magic, right? Like, nature magic. You make leaves. Uh, that's kind of the only... Uh, well, I had speak with animal, too, but if you're going to be catching it, I don't want to talk to it. Maybe, you know, just trick it a little bit. Do you need my help to catch a possum? I would love your help to catch a possum. But, you know, I mean, you don't have to. I just hope you enjoy those seats at the theater tomorrow. He grabs an ale, downs the whole thing, and just like, You've okay, been okay. hanging out with Umbrella too long. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Catching, catching yeah. animals with an animal. Hi, hi, hoof. I have Y'all, hands. Okay. Y'all have fun. <laughs> you make Give your way outside. Uh, you see the, you see the uh, Tarquin horse again. <laughs> okay. I'm used to this by now. You think that's a nice horse? I mean, it's... Yeah, looks kind of like Tarquin. Yeah, you think it's like... A nice guy, though? Uh, cats speak with animals. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do that in the morning. I can't believe I didn't see this coming. How did I not see this coming? We'll give you, we'll give you 10 seconds, DM. <laughs> I don't fucking need it. Ask away. No, sir. I didn't like it. <laughs> Good evening, dear horse. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Quaint. It. Jeez. Quaint. <laughs> As do you. <laughs> yes, because I'm a horse. <laughs> Ludo, is there anything you want to say to the horse? Ask him if he likes breakfast. Do you like breakfast? <laughs> yes. He does. What does he like for breakfast? <laughs> what do you like for breakfast? Hey. <laughs> Oats. <laughs> Why do you need to know? I don't know. <laughs> Where are my dad's? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> Did I break JC? I'm fucking here. <laughs> 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 Uh, he likes oats and hay, and he's wondering where his dads are. Oh, yeah. Tarquin and Beefon, they stole him. <laughs> Tell him they're inside if you want to go. Because we're heroes. No. <sighs> well, you have new dads now if you want. <sighs> I just want to be a free man. Is it too much to ask? Honestly. Uh... Check out, check back in with me tomorrow night, and we'll see. What do you mean, check back in with you tomorrow night? We're, we have I'm attached plans. to a fucking carriage, darling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I'll know where to find you. No, oh, yes, I suppose you will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is he nice? He seems rude. Is he being rude? A little bit, but you also stole him. Yeah, well, give him a stupid name. What do you think? Something really makes him feel real stupid every time you call him. Do you have a name or do you want one? Um, I do have a name, actually. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> What's your name, 
Because if you don't tell me, you're gonna get a dumb one. Why are you interrogating me? I just... I don't so know. rude. Okay. My name is Angus, and it is spelt. Are you ready? <laughs> Have you got a pen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. My... <laughs> My name is spelt. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. A. Mm hmm O. Mm hmm I. Mm -hmm. M. Go on, you don't have to keep pausing. Oh, you seem slow enough, you don't even know how to spell Angus. G. H. <coughs> I. O. U. S. Angus. <laughs> I just, I never, I never thought we would meet a literate horse. Um. <laughs> It's a beautiful moment. Also, it says it's on my bridle. You're trying oh to pay attention and you want to be my dad. <laughs> it's nice. nice to meet you, Angus. Uh huh. I. Ludo, anything else you want to ask? Or can we leave Angus to Angus? Uh. What, uh. Oh, uh. No, I'm trying to come up with some kind of horse joke. Oh, how come he, his voice doesn't sound very good? Because it's horse. Okay, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Why is your friend looking at me like that? Uh, does he have clothing on? Or any sort of particle? <laughs> <laughs> he's, got, he's got a bridle on and a saddle. And he's attached to the, to the carriage. Uh, we're just thinking of what clothes to get you later. Okay, bye! You ever eat horse? It's pretty good. Never tried it. Maybe later. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go. So if you were a possum... Do I get inspiration points for making JC explode? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> that was its own inspiration God. point in itself. I fucking won. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard you laugh like that, my guy. Delightful. Mm, but please carry on. Okay, so <laughs> it's night time. You're a possum. Where are you gonna be? Um, maybe look for some trash cans or dumpsters or something. Mmm, smart. Okay. We'll go do it around doing just that. Okay. Um, roll. Uh, Camellia, roll a survival check. Um, mm -hmm. I imagine your survival's just swole as it already is. And then roll at advantage <laughs> because Ludo is helping oh, ad you. Advantage. And you have tracking sensors being a ranger. Not that you've probably used it on possums before, but there you go. That voice oh was my god, that's by great! The girl on the train that I that I heard, and I was obsessed with just listening to her. It was it was. Oh my god! <laughs> what did you I, get? I have a plus six to, advent, to survival, by the way. Just say. <laughs> yeah, uh, with with advantage, that's a nine. Kamui, you do also have the D ten of. Uh, oh right. Powers of yep. my mom compel you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will roll that. Yeah, no, there was a girl on the train, and she she was, like, such a very specific kind of British posh. And, like, she was already half a bottle of wine down at ten in the morning. Dang. And, oh my like, god, her, nice. her fingers were just a character in themselves. It was so funny. It was the best train journey I've been on in a while. No, because, okay, like, she was yeah. so funny. And, like, <laughs> Pink Moscato on the train. No, no, I know, right? And she was cheating on George. Like... I know he his his face looks like just a rock, but what is going on with that? Like it's crazy. So I was like, yeah, the horse has got to sound a little bit like that. <laughs> One's a pink Moscato now. <laughs> oh, you you can't. She fucking had it all. <laughs> <laughs> it was a short train, and she just fucking downed it. And then they all had two <laughs> cans of cocktails as well by the time they got off. Damn. Jeez. I don't know. I don't know how they were walking straight. 
<laughs> oh yeah, we never figured that out. There were just loads of people dressed as cowgirls that were on the train and then at the train station, and we didn't, we couldn't figure out like we couldn't find any like <laughs> concerts that were on. Just for fun, yeah. Yeah, just loads of, loads of cowgirls <laughs> in Birmingham. Um, oh yes, Yippee and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Portion sloshed. Exactly. <laughs> Iconic. Mm. So, what do we get in total? Uh, 15. 15! You find, um, some kind, like a slightly dingy alley. Uh, there aren't many of them uh, in this part of town, but you do definitely find one. Um, a fair few kind of, uh, trash, uh, hands and holders of various kinds. And you do indeed um, see with your very keen sight the telltale little uh, footprints, feet prints of a possum going into a dumpster. A D&D &D, &D dumpster, whatever form that takes. It's probably just a pile of <laughs> trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pile it's just pile wooden. Trash pile, rags, wood, yeah. Broken, broken desk. <laughs> Okay, I, I think there might be one in that pile. Oh, okay. Get ready. I pull out my meat uh, tenderizer. Uh, uh, <laughs> and I also oh, summon... Oh, for initiative! I summon <laughs> a spirit meat tenderizer as well. <laughs> ready? Fine. Okay. <laughs> Get entangled ready. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, what what dare I ask what you are doing next? Can you still talk to animals? Uh uh can I? You got another couple minutes. Yeah. Alright, go get him. What do you mean go get him? Bring him out here and then we bonk bonk. <laughs> Amelia is rethinking everything. <laughs> it's time to go back to the Fae. It's where, the world, where the world makes sense. I mean, honestly, this isn't that different from the Fae. It's just a, a slightly dingier world in which you're doing this kind of stuff. And if this was the Fae, the, the possum would have st somehow like stolen the deeds to your soul. And you're just like, ah, oh, goddamn, I've got to go get my fucking soul oh, back. Not again. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's like, hey, flowers, which way did the possum go? He's like, they went that way. It's like, oh, all right, thanks. <laughs> Third time this week. Sh okay, shut up. <laughs> Chrysanthemum. <laughs> <laughs> Chrysanthemum the fourth. <laughs> but yes, um, Camellia, the, you are faced with trash pile. She... <sighs> Quietly walks over and just, hello, any possums here? <laughs> That's all you hear. You, you see no difference in the trash pile. You just you just hear that noise. Uh, she takes out the cupcake she has. Hey, oh <laughs> you you want a little snack, bud? Oh, I do like a snack. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a really good, yummy, totally not suspicious cupcake. A cupcake? Mm hmm. I've only ever seen those in the windows. Yeah, do you want it? I don't really uh, need this anymore, and I would love to share. And you she's waiting for Ludo to come over. You see a couple of perfect little little possum ears just pop out of the trash oh. and just teeny snoot um it is only a young possum it's not like super baby but sh she's small got a cupcake so for pretty miss mm -hmm. you want some they nod their head I feel <laughs> really so bad. aggressively <laughs> i feel so i instantly feel so bad <laughs> what's oh important God. though is ludo doesn't <laughs> can, can, I a, can I have a bite? I'm ever so hungry. Um, yeah, of course. She'll kneel down and present the cupcake, but not move. 
and kind of come go. Yeah, you can just come over here and get some. How how far away are you holding the cupcake from? From my. <laughs> how far? Sorry. Uh, she's just kind of extending her hand out as far as she can, while also okay. avoiding the trash. <laughs> oh yeah, um, yeah. She, you see the little possum clambers out, kind of surfs through the trash like a crocodile at first, and then just kind of like pops out and has a nibble on with a long snoot. Camellia. <laughs> How do you say thank you in possum? That's really nice, that is. Uh, I... Oh, that tastes better than chur. And you see, like... <laughs> you both see, like, the pupils of this tiny possum just grow really wide. And then... Oh, no. She just... <laughs> and seemingly... She just dies. There you oh. go. Oh, nice. Uh, I don't... Uh, possums play dead, so I don't... know if he's dead... The, dead? The tongue lolls out of the side of her mouth, a little bl bit of blue icing just on the tip of it. Did you just poison it? Just... Is that the poison uh, cupcake? I don't know, you gave this to me! Oh yeah, that's right. Good thing you didn't eat it, huh? <laughs> and then, uh, still looking at her, just smiling, he bashes it into the face. He bashes its face in. She... Tenderize it. Um, I will need you... To roll. Oh, no. What is your speed, actually? 30 feet. Interesting. Okay, Why? roll a dexterity throw for <laughs> me, please. Dexterity? I want to see who's faster. Wait, who? Awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, Ludo. Okay. Just like a dexterity check? Just a save? regular dexterity. Yeah, so, um... Sorry, oh, just dexterity. Uh, no, acro acrobatic? All right. They're all plus... Acrobatics, three, I believe. So. But it doesn't matter because I'm rolling a natural 20. Nope, I rolled a 6. Well, you know what's really funny about that, Jay-Z? What's that? I did roll a natural 20. <laughs> oh, no! Oh. You see the possum kind of go, ah! and just <laughs> dive out of the way. <laughs> and you, you do smack the pile of trash that they get back into. Um, Juice. What do you do? You hit the trash pile again? No, I mean, just uh, probably a hit, and there's probably like trash juice. Um, oh. it's fairly dry, it's fairly okay, dry trash. That's good. They just moved through it like a crocodile, they didn't, it's not like wet trash. All right, I'm well, not, I'm not that mean. <laughs> just, I, hey. Roll initiative, or <laughs> um, well, you've lost sight of them, but you the the trash pile is there. Oh, it dove, it dove back into the trash pile. It did, yes. Okay. Camellia, I gotta get my hands dirty. If you see it, blast it, okay? I... Fine. Fine. Okay. <laughs> and he starts <laughs> pawing through it, just dig digging through, trying to see if he can find it. Uh, roll an investigation check at disadvantage for me, please. Okay. Well, that's fine, because it's, it's plus zero anyway, so... <laughs> That oh disadvantage! I rolled a twenty and a nineteen. What the hell? Nice. <laughs> He's fucking determined right now. With a nineteen, <laughs> you do find you do find it, and you just pluck it out of the trash. Oh, do you pick it up? But you do you do find it. Yeah, that is the main thing. I'll probably pick it up. You okay. Ah, please don't. Oh. What's he I saying? I it was a trick. Oh my goodness. He's pleading for his life right now. Out there, oh, God. <laughs> I'll like pat it she on its head. Ears. I'll like pat it on its head and be like, oh, it's okay. And then punch, 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 punch. Oh my God. That's just mean. Yeah. The, the possum is um, swiftly dealt with. But not before. A strange. <gasps> Don't, don't, <laughs> don't, 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 don't get like revenge from the grave for the possum. I'm not. Okay. The, what? The fact of the matter is the possum ate the cupcake. The cupcake had an effect. The cupcake has an effect, whether the 
possum is alive or dead. Okay. I'd like you oh to roll God. a d100 for me, please. Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh I, can't, right there. I cannot believe. Because I, gonna... I, I, <laughs> I, I just, to put it out there, I have known the cupcake that Camellia had since the cupcakes were handed out. Mm -hmm. Okay. I knew the exact effect of the cupcake that Camellia had. Camellia has handed this cupcake to the possum. The possum mm -hmm. now has the effect of the cupcake. Possum. I'm, I'm, I'm going to think of this as the karma cupcake from now on. The possum seeing <laughs> imminent threat via giant meat tenderizer and spiritual meat tenderizer absolutely by trying to appeal to whatever gods and magic were out there absolutely activated the the trap card of this cupcake ability <laughs> which is whoever killed you gets a warm hug <laughs> no it's not actually oh, oh what dang. did you roll i like that one 80... <laughs> is that an 84 uh-huh ludo takes 84 damage no um Oh, that's kind of beautiful. So, um, the cupcake was, had the following effect. Mm -hmm. Um, the eater is given the ability to give a curse to one <laughs> being. Okay. So you can see why I'm finding this just so, just so entertaining. <laughs> my own, should have just went by yourself, the Ludo. Should have just went by yourself. <laughs> You'll be back already. <laughs> My other plan was to just eat the cupcake during the concert. Would have been interesting. During um, the concert? Yeah, she's just bored. I mean, at some point you just would have been like, man, I can just curse anybody. Um, <laughs> the, f the fun thing is the 84, because I just found a list of 100 random curses in D&D. Good. This one's kind of beautiful. It's mm -hmm. not too, it's not too terrible. It's slightly entertaining. And, uh... The PC's armor or clothing, whichever is applicable, is made entirely out of glass. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Permanently? So, um, like, I just permanently. Is it clear glass? Um, unless it's. Um, if you're comfortable for it to be clear glass, it's clear glass. We can make it tempered, tampered glass if you prefer. Stained glass, if you feel... No, it was... I'm not, glass is too cool. Um, I'm not trying to break any laws. <laughs> okay, nothing nothing is immediately suspiciously visible. But there is enough visible to know what is going on. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> and... It's a curse, so... It depends on uh, how much you may or may not know about... Removing curses. I do there are some pretty bad ones on this list. That that was kind of lucky. I was getting a little bit concerned. Okay, I I, I do have the spell as a cleric, but I don't I don't. I think I gotta wait till tomorrow. <laughs> so you can you can if you can if you can remove the curse now you can remove the curse now. Well, I don't have it prepared, right? right? Like clerics have to prepare their spells. Oh, uh, that's true. But I'm pretty sure but I have it on my list. It's pure entertainment. And if not, there are plenty of temples around that would surely welcome someone that they can remove a curse from. Maybe less so someone who's effectively naked. Um, in some stretch, that's just such a fucked up curse. I love it, though. It's, it's, okay. it's, not, uh, it's not harmful. It's, it's just, just a fun little, fun little curse. So I can still, like, move around and stuff? Oh, yeah! No! <clears throat> Nothing. You're not. In terms of functionality, not much is particularly affected. I would imagine after a certain amount of time, you know, the armor might start to uh, wear down a lot faster. But all right. Um, otherwise, Ludo's just there is pressed ham up against the glass right now. So <laughs> he's a big, opaque, glassy blur. He probably doesn't even notice. Oh my god. What? Uh, 
She has to slap her, I, her I ears know, over her eyes. I, I Ruth, know, it's Ruth okay. You know, we have to eat animals every day. And, you know, mm -hmm. it's, uh, sometimes it's sad. Normally, you probably shouldn't talk to it at first, but that was my bad. You're, I you're the one who you. won it. I, oh did, I did, I did, I did, I did. <laughs> well, you ready? Hey, Ludo? Yeah. Can you look down? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, hello. How are you <laughs> yeah. down there? Hello. He's doing okay. He looks like he's doing all right. What happened here? How come my clothes is a glass? It might be the cupcake I gave. Oh, yeah. Those cupcakes. I tell you, that's a... Uh, that has been crazy times. Anyway, here. And he reaches down into his side, causing some of the glass flaps to tinkle and crinkle as he reaches down to his side. The let me get, speaking of, let me get you the uh, your cut of the the, uh, the sails. Uh, uh, digging, digging, <laughs> rooting around. Uh, Things are flapping and slapping. We can do that tomorrow. We. Yeah. Um. Oh. Camila takes off her cloak and then gives it to him. But it's probably Aww. comically hella fucking small. <laughs> he can see it, yeah. You can, can see it. That's, that's, that that's not what I mean. Oh. <laughs> the hat, the hat is also translucent, trans like transparent glass though, which is pretty sick. Neat. Um, like the light is kind of from the uh, street lights, kind of refracting through the glass through the scarf. That's pretty cool. Hell yeah. Right. I mean, it's so, just stiff, though. It's just stiff glass. <laughs> just oh. Yes. So speaking of stiff, he dangles the possum. He's like, all right, let's go. <laughs> so <laughs> many. So many layers. So many layers <laughs> to that pun. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, well, at least uh, Umberlight's going to have a smashing time trying to get you out of that tonight. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, how are we going to get you out of that? <laughs> Broken glass um, <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> then your armor's broken. That's then fine. your armor's broken. I'm getting some new armor, right? Or something? When you get back to Ninu, yeah, there's potentially days away. Well, I gotta dress Do up. You... I gotta dress up nice for the theater <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Unless it's the Wait, curse it... that any time I put on clothes, they become glass. I guess there's oh, that only would one be way great. to find out. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, Ludo, high or low? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you for giving me inspiration. <laughs> that is an 8 on a d10. Um, All right, we'll wake, up, wake up with glass <laughs> blankets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, but you successfully get a possum. <laughs> And uh, head back to the brothel for the evening. <laughs> oh, and he's all cam—he's all camoed up too. So it's all like it's all cool it's and glassy. Not even yeah. just yeah. It's not even just Ludo under there. It's like Ludo plus camo paint. <laughs> Predator Ludo. <laughs> <laughs> just looks like performance art, like <laughs> just like <laughs> one of those statues in the just living statues in the street. Mm. A couple of people walk by like. Yeah, that's an interesting, interesting look. Do you see that man, darling? <laughs> but yes, you will make it back alive successfully. <laughs> Camellia just looking all shell shocked. <laughs> <laughs> He's she has seen her, some things. She has her ears over her eyes the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as as you get back, um, you see um, you see Ephigenio, um, the half elf man. Uh, from the brothel, kind of greet you at the door. Oh, welcome back. Now that is a look. Where do I get me one of those? You gotta kill a possum. And he wags it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Just kind of goes back to working behind the, behind the desk. Just trying to imagine that from that character's perspective. It's just, it's just... Is everyone still downstairs, or like outside when you come back? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I've... Still outside and... 
Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, inside, <laughs> uh, I feel like everyone's probably begun to make way to bed if they haven't already. Though it is up to you, Danny. Whether. Oh, uh... uh, how long were they out? Not long. It's about. 15, 20 minutes. Alright, so let's say that this was timed where he's getting back right as I was leaving to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> so is, is Ludo inside yet? Oh Hello. yeah, they're, they're back. <laughs> I, I... What happened to you? <laughs> and he's like studying the glass, he's like knocking on it. Like, <laughs> anybody knocking on it? Quality checking. Well, Camellia here, crime lord, decided no. to talk to the possum first to torture it. And I tried to put it out of its misery, but then Camellia had poisoned it, and then it put some kind of curse to make my my clothes turn into a glass. I don't... I mean, admittedly, uh, Danny doesn't know Camellia that well, but I feel like he wouldn't buy that first part for a second about her torturing the possum. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if I have to roll for that, I can. You can insight check. See how <laughs> truthful Ludo is being. Do you need insight for this? <laughs> Everything's on see why I threw him. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, you guys are the best. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Ludo's, Ludo. Ludo's barely, like, barely even lying. It's a, clearly a joke. Just a torture oh, for okay. a <laughs> Alright, well, he's like I said, he's just knocking on the glass. This is some high quality glass you got here. You want it? What? Where did you find it? I was wearing it. I, I, I see you wearing it now, but where did you find it? His clothes turned into this. At that point, he stops knocking on, on, on his glass armor and backs away two steps. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. And he leaves. <laughs> he doesn't even do, doesn't even care to ask how it happened. He's just he's done. Night, Danny. Night, I'm, night, Camellia. I'm also going to bed. Okay, thank you for your help. Mm, don't ask again. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So, Ludo, there is but one thing left to do for the evening. Yeah, I stuff the uh, possum into my now see-through fridge. The fridge is still... I, I would imagine the fridge is still fine. Okay. It's not quite clothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Amazing. I uh, return to my room. <sighs> Darling, are you back? What the fuck? <laughs> Look, my clothes turned into glass. Was that part of the plan? No, it's because we put a curse. He says he starts trying to shrug out of his glass clothing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if she's got a spell to help. <laughs> oh no, she does. God. Shatter. <laughs> <laughs> she does have shatter. Um, how did... Wait, so the possum put a curse on, on you. Yeah, but I don't think he mean to. It's because uh, we were trying to catch the possum, and then uh, Camellia <laughs> thought uh, to give it her cupcake, and apparently the cupcake had some kind of magic that turned my clothes into a glass. Uh, or maybe I went out and I got a specially glass-wrapped present just for you. It, it was the it was the curse, wasn't it? It was a little bit of both. Okay. Um, just give me a second, darling. Um, and she rummages through her her backpack. Um, <laughs> I had these uh, saved for an emergency, but um, I suppose we'll. Uh, we don't want to leave you completely armorless. All right. Um, she kind of puts her hat, kind of puts your hat gently on the bed and tips your head back and places her hand on it and uh, she will cast reduce <laughs> oh okay <laughs> so <laughs> the armor kind of gently plonk, falls to the ground um, 
and Luda, you fall right through your armor. <laughs> um, she then lifts the armor up over your head <laughs> and um, breaks concentration on the spell, resuming you to your regular size. Yep, I think that was a worthwhile use of that spell. For forgive me for this, I'm trying something. It's just very fortunate for him that she didn't cast it on the armor. Oh, what happened? <laughs> oh my god. Um, you're, did, you're did small it do right it? now. It, it sounded a little bit like it. I needed to hear more to check <laughs> if it was working. <laughs> oh, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Darling, I made you small for a second so we can get you out of your armor. Oh, I think I like it. You sound like an entirely different person. I'm not sure I like this. <laughs> what if just for tonight? Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I thought you said you'd love me no matter what. I do, but I don't have to tolerate you no matter what. Okay. <laughs> just be careful make sure I don't catch you. All right. <laughs> and I start running after her. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, trying to grab me. <laughs> she, she just puts a, just a hand on your forehead and, and just keeps you away. S swiping at her, just fully camo, naked Ludo. <sighs> just, I'm gonna get you. Watch out. <laughs> and that's when she breaks concentration on the spell, so you're regular size again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was fun. Yes, it was. Right. Um, so have you had a good day? I did. I did. I got uh, quite the surprise for you. Uh, it wasn't the glass armor? Oh, no, 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 no. The surprise is right. And I reach somewhere... Who knows where? <laughs> <laughs> and I produce uh, two scripts of paper. Here. Oh, you sneaky little bastard. Well, you know, when you tell me to do something, I like to do it. Thanks. I do appreciate it. <clears throat> I'm so excited. Center, middle, just like you said, and there's an extra special surprise when we get there. Oh? Mm-hmm. What's that? I don't know. Maybe you'll have to find out, or maybe I can be convinced to tell you. Um, would, would she have to roll persuasion if she took her shirt off? Probably a good time to fade to black. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to know the secret! <laughs> um, yeah, she, after, fade back in and duvets covering. <laughs> um, <laughs> sweat wiped from the brow, prestidigitation cast. Let's so just. What is the surprise? Let's just say. You won't have any trouble figuring out where your seat is. I've arranged um, for something no, it's special all the tickets. to happen. It's all the tickets and numbered, darling. You wouldn't, yeah. you wouldn't question where we are sitting. Okay, just remember what I said tomorrow. <laughs> I, do you hand her the tickets to look at? Uh huh. Darling, these ain't VIP tickets. Oh, do they? Well, that's funny because the VIP tickets means there's a meet and greet before the show. You you see um, her her face goes from like... Roll an insight check for me, please, Luda. Oh, roll a one, you dog. 22. <laughs> oh. Her facial expression shifts. 
slightly. She was excited before, and she still is, but the idea of the meet and greet is definitely has has definitely stirred something. She cannot but poker face too well when it comes to that. Oh! Meet meet and greet. Yeah, with Kana uh, uh, Kanastagar Ablard. That was surprisingly close, darling, actually. Um, Thank you. <laughs> so we're, we're going to meet with Kentaganasta bef before? Yeah. He want to uh, say something very special to you. I think, probably. Actually, I don't know, but we're going to meet him. Oh, uh, Yes. Yes, we will. Yes, that's fine. Let's, is is that, that good? Do you good. like that? Yeah, you know, I'm just butterflies, darling. I'm just nervous, you know? Any kind, of, any kind of, like, insight? Like, does she know him or something? Um, with your 22 insight, she's she definitely knows him. Um, oh, that delightful. Apparent. I don't, that much is apparent. There is more to it than that. That oh. she's not letting on. Exciting. Uh, you know, we don't have to go to the meet and greet. We can just go for the show. No, no, no. You must have spent... No, let's be real. Um, you put a lot of effort into getting these. I'm not going <laughs> to put it to waste. Yeah, well, I know it's very important to you. And Amberla, I'd like to make you happy, so... <laughs> yeah, you, you you definitely at this point see she is uncharacteristically kind of anxious um, about the the concert. DM, I would like to cast Calm Emotions. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to be no, of course. <laughs> yeah, you can you can cast Calm Emotions, and you see her. Still, still slightly dubious, but um, definitely less worried. Openly. Okay, let's go to sleep. <sighs> Thank you. I feel like I don't say that often enough. Mm, thank you. You know, I thought uh, I didn't know what I was gonna do in life. I was just gonna go around eating all the monsters, but now I feel like. I don't know. Kind of like I know what I'm going to do now. Hmm. And what's that? He smiles and says, Friends, the light. I don't think he's in here. Oh, he's not? Oh, okay. Where we is don't he? Let him, we don't let him in here for sexy times, Luther. We've already agreed on this. Oh, okay. Then he <laughs> throws, I don't know, throws a pillow at the light. <laughs> roll a dexterity no <laughs> you eventually hit it I'll, I'll roll athletics <laughs> <laughs> go for it this is, the oh, next gosh. 40 minutes of the stream is just, just a Ludo bare trying to ass turn bed off the but the light is off just me just freaking <laughs> <laughs> trying to put out a fire <laughs> 24 a 24 um, smack, no, you good. Uh, 24 works. It immediately smacks the light. Um, you look super strong and buff and handsome doing so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and fade to black once again, um, should you so wish. Or just oh, yes. bed. No, fade to black. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I can't sleep without my whoobie. <laughs> Still in camo, yeah. <laughs> yes. No, she didn't have any arguments about that. She had no qualms about that. Um, awesome. I think um, that's about it. Oh wait, Tarquin. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. Lest we forget. Roll. <laughs> A wisdom saving throw for me, please. Oh, shit. Oh. And 
dream's getting strong. <laughs> That's a nine. Okay. Audience, picture a meditating Tarquin. Um, Uma, this large, um, kind of deep, plum-colored uh, Goliath changeling, keeping a very close eye on Tarquin. And as he dreams, as the nightmare grows, he doesn't move but an inch. No, there is no apparent sign of any nightmare or any dream. Just a peaceful sleep, a peaceful travel. As if there is no dream at all. When Tarquin looks in the mirror and sees himself as a hero, what does he see in that image? How does that manifest for him? So is that a question for me? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> we okay, know. okay. So, well, basically he... He thinks of himself like he's done so many things. He's accomplished so many great deeds. He's saved so many people. So he truly believes that he's done a lot for the world. And um, yeah, he believes he's uh, like the hero of the tale, for so to speak. Mm. As you look into this mirror in your dream, you see in the reflection the sights of the dreams that have come before. Some more dreams, some more nightmare. The ships, the snow, the ice giants, Kraken, the fires of Ash Sky, the crushed temple. You feel the blunderbuss. You see the blunderbuss against your head in the reflection. You look down at your hands, but they are no longer your hands. They are longer fingered, darker skin, padded, more animal folk like. This face that you've seen repeat, but you've never quite picked up. Roll a history check for me. 17. For just a moment as you blink, the person in the mirror is not you. It is a woman with bright red curly hair, captain's outfit and a hat. You blink again, you see a Goliath man wrapped in furs, carrying many weapons on their back. You blink again, you see a child holding their friend who is injured tears streaming down their face trying to pull them up the hill towards safety. You blink again and each blink brings a new face, a new memory, a new dream you have had, a new life you have lived, a new experience, a new story you have told. You blink again, you see Luca on the background of the fires of Ash Sky. You blink again. You see the man from Ninint in the coffin, Blunderbuss held to his head as his identical 
figure stands the other side, unable to do anything in time. You blink again. You see Tizu. Um, animal folk. Somewhat monkey-like person. From the monastery. You know them. You've seen them. You see them on the memory of the airship when you saved people. You see them in the memory of the blunderbuss when you died a hero. You see them on an island surrounded by huge petals. And as the petals in the reflection close around Tizu, you blink and for one last time you see your eye streaming with tears, the amulet on your arm glowing burningly bright. And you blink again, swept away with the wiles of the rest of the night. And that is where we're going to end today's session. Ah, Tisu, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Who's, who's Tizu? Do we know Tizu? No. I know Tizu. <gasps> You knew in a Tizu. way, in a way, you know Tizu. Oh. But in many ways, you don't know Tizu. Oh no. But Tarquin, Tarquin knows Tizu. Mm -hmm. I think Dime knows, knows Tizu. I think Dime knows Tizu. <gasps> but that's Dime personally, rather than Beeple. Maybe. Ooh. So, yeah. Just, you know, ended up, changed the vibe. Happy vibe. Happy stream. Happy time. Good <laughs> session. Good session. <laughs> up until the mystery at the end of mm -hmm. mysteriousness. Yep. I was going to give Uma a tip, but I think she's not going to earn it. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't see anything. <laughs> Mm. They're very still nightmares. And that wasn't so much of a nightmare. It was a reflection. It was like the first step to enlightenment right there. Mm -hmm. The nightmares, they I... keep going. How you feeling about all these nightmares, Tarquin? Oh, every day is a new beginning. <laughs> <I'm feeling> wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, that was a that was a rough seven. It's like that's that ain't gonna do it. That ain't gonna stop them coming in. But they are. Yeah, it's gonna last. start to becoming harder for Tarquin to uh, to hmm. keep up a, a positive attitude with all these nightmares. Oh, he's gonna be Darkwin. <gasps> Maybe Darkwin. 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 And, then we, and, then we, and then we polymorph him into a duck, and then he's Darkwin Duck. <laughs> oh. My. <laughs> Let's get dangerous. <laughs> no, that was that was a fucking awesome session, you guys. Absolutely. Woo! I'm so so happy with you. So Danny, Such wonderful I, I, I know Danny's been here every session, of course. But just to check. <laughs> are, are you gonna you gonna be able to go with us to the theater next session? I should, unless my work <gasps> schedule changes at the last minute. Okay. Fingers crossed. All right. But it's, uh, I was telling Key earlier, uh, mm -hmm. like when I first started this job I'm at, the man my manager was changing my schedule at the last minute on pretty much every week. Mm -hmm. But now he's not doing that so much. So I'm feeling c confident that I'll be here ne next week. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, boy. Woo woo. Woo. Okay. Oh, I'm in the wrong month. There we go. Um, Yes. And just as a reminder, a reminder slash FYI, um, next week we are on the week after we will be taking a break because I will not be able to be here. But if you guys want to just chill out and hang and eat, shoot theories at each other, um, reminisce, that'd be super cute. Um, 
But I will not be here to wrangle the chaos, unfortunately. So, um, so yes, 626, no to 72? 73. Uh, the Thord, yeah. Gotcha. But next Wait. week! Wait, what? So I can't make it on the 3rd of July. Oh, okay. But if you guys want to do a stream, if you want to play games, just shoot shit, talk theories, talk the stories of far and shit. Look at fan art and whatever. That's that would be cute, but you don't have to. We can all just rest. <laughs> it is fine. Oh, uh, you know, there's no rest for the wicked. Hey. <laughs> oh, oh wait, wait, that that, that 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 doesn't apply to us. We're we're all heroes. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We saved um... that trash from being pilfered. <laughs> Rest in peace, that little <laughs> possum. I tried to make her as cute as I could. <laughs> you know what I was really worried about? When, like, af- after she had... D- yeah. <laughs> after she had died, when you said, like, and you begin to hear something, I was like, no, don't bring out the babies. Don't you dare say that she had a bunch of... I was that would have been no. the worst revenge from the grave. It's just all the babies <laughs> coming out of the trash. Did she come back with food, yeah? no. oh. Just a little tiny one with Osmo the dish uh, comes with a side of possum nuggets. Chat's not liking this at all. <laughs> oh, no, Mommy's dead. I guess we just have to eat her for food now. Oh, okay. Mm. But that's mm. Is it nature beautiful? It's like the <laughs> owlbear, uh, owlbear cub. Oh, no, 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 my little my owlbear cub. Don't even <laughs> fuck around with, don't even mess around with owlbear cubs. No, they'd more rather probably be like, oh my god. If there were, and they saw the rest of the cupcake and they ate it. <laughs> oh! Just mm. go around the town cursing everybody. <laughs> Just handing out curses. <laughs> yep. In That's an alternative problem. timeline. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just, if you collected every animal you saw, like, I understand the appeal, because I would want to do that. But it's like, bro, I just want to take all of it with me. Like, the little cockney possum, like, she's pretty, she's pretty grand, so. I don't know. But I guess you'll make a nice meal. So mean. But also, you looked for possum, you found possum. You were the ones that cast speak with animals on it. <laughs> didn't I didn't to. want to. <laughs> but you did get to meet Angus, so that was... He twisted your arm. <laughs> he forced you against your will. Well, you said, oh, in his name, I mm. lost it. <laughs> Dude, because me and me, uh, when we... After Mum's incredible... Um, Kenta Ganaster Abelard. Um, we were just looking for the most like pretentious baby names, and um, we found a thread on um, Mum's net that was like, "Is Mungo an acceptable name for my child?" And thankfully, most of the responses were like, "Do not fucking do that." Um, <laughs> and then at one point, someone was like, "Yeah, it's my little Angus," um, and it's like his his great great grandfather's Scottish, and it was like it was spelled like that. I was like, "You're." not fucking serious with that that's great i need to put that in the adventure right now i thought you just yeah. made up that that spelling on the spot. nope that's real oh there really? is a person with that the name fact. out there somewhere and the their f- mum was on a 2008 <laughs> mum's net forum oh that poor like, kid the, <laughs> the so fact I, I mean i i do appreciate the fact that we will so, sometimes assume that key just does stuff like that on the fly <laughs> it's a testament it's a testament to how good of a dm she actually thank is thank you um yeah, yeah, so far, so far, Ang- Angus is the only one that that um, was just straight up found, and I was just like putting that shit in there. The rest of the shit I came up with, and then of course Kenta Ganaster, Abelard, that's a Mameriki m- special. That is fucking beautiful. Oh my goodness! He started school, and he met his best friend Absidy. Absidy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't with Absidy. Would you, like to, would you like to share with, with the class how Absidy is spelt for us, Oh, please, please go ahead. <laughs> um, for those who would like to name their child the beautiful name Absidy, um, the spelling goes like this. Oh. A. 
B, C, D. Uh, yep. Subdued nose. Subdued I'm nose. glad some of y'all remember that <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's oh the best. Oh my god. Abhorrent behavior. <laughs> you should have a license to have a child. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that was that was a super fun session. I wasn't mm -hmm. sure how that would go or how far it would go. That was all one evening. That's incredible. That was like And we have tomorrow night. We have to mm, tomorrow can't wait. night. Oh yeah, because of the eight. Yeah, I've seen that as well. The KV. Eight. Oh. Horrible. <laughs> Poor child. You know, I gotta say, um, and you know me, I can justify anything, but I do gotta say, in my defense, I was gonna go catch possums by myself, and then, <laughs> and then Rubes is like, are you going? Are you gonna stop by us? And I was like, okay, so Ru Rubes wants to go. <laughs> and then I, I wasn't gonna talk I to just the horse. Like <laughs> <laughs> just like, like, oh, this is gonna be a funny conversation between the group. But then we wouldn't have got anger. <laughs> exactly. And then I wasn't gonna talk to the horse. But then you're like, and then you walk by the, you walk by the carriage. I'm like, okay, so she wants us to talk to the horse. <laughs> no, I did. I, did. Look, I, I, I. What I I'm trying to say is, I do water. it for you guys. Okay, I do it for you. <laughs> yeah. oh. I had. I had no idea you were gonna get me to do the horse <laughs> I was gonna say, how did that feel when I'm suddenly like, do you think he's nice? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> I, I wish I could see the eye roll I rolled at that time. I loved uh, the voice. Just immediately Don't lie to us, to... JC. It was all part of your master plan the whole time. It the has been up until time. this point. There have been so many times it's like, Man, maybe friends would know. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, I bet. All right, guys, what do you need? Oh, Winnie also all the... wants to know. Okay. I just love all the rapid sounds and then just yeah. the sigh. I was like, fuck, fuck. That was an, that was an accident, honestly. <laughs> no, I, yeah, sure. Yeah, as soon, sure. as soon, <laughs> as soon as that, I got the gist that like, oh, he wants to fucking talk to the goddamn horse. <laughs> I looked in my, I looked at my name list, and of course, the most recently added ones were like Kentigadastir and Angus. So I was like, Angus is perfect for this pretentious ass horse. Um, <laughs> what I have to admit was very close to naming it um, <laughs> Dario. Was very oh my god, that would have been great. Lord. How is it perfect? Because it looks like <laughs> I know, I know. And I was like, no, I'm saving it. I'm saving that card. Mm. Um, I can't just gotta be patient. Um, and then yeah, as I, as I was laughing, I just heard the. <laughs> I was like, oh wait, no, hold on. Oh wait, no, hold on, no. <laughs> I'm a cook. <laughs> Just incorporate it. It's the dumbest shit. I hate everything. Uh, but it's great. <laughs> it was very fun. Um, I'm glad it happened. Um, and you know, in terms of the possum curse, you know, I, I with the enabling, there is there is always the knowledge that <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> Just seeing your meme, Darian. That's incredible. Um, <laughs> please post that on Twitter. Um, but um there there's you know in, with any D, D session trust is like number one because if you don't have trust between the players and the dm like nothing can happen um if you don't like trust is the difference between something fairly dark that goes over super well and something fairly dark that does not go over well at all and triggers people and is bad times and everything um so where, where there is so much enabling of each other, <laughs> there has to be trust. And it's like, we, we, you know, we try to set it up and make sure that like, hey, I, you trust, you trust me that if you talk to an animal, I will have a voice for it. <laughs> and, and like, if you guys want to go out and kill a possum that has a super adorable Cockney accent, you know, there's no judgment. It, it, it there might be worldly consequences to it, but there might not, you know? 
and it just so <laughs> happened that that possum ate a cursed ass <laughs> cupcake and that gave them a curse <laughs> that they could put on someone and there was a guy with a big old meat tenderizer chasing like after them karma and cupcake. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's it's you know there's there's a there's a exchange it's it is it is a two-way beautiful street of chaos so I, I, I have a re, uh, a request to anyone who may eventually get the idea of like trying to novelize this. <laughs> the the chapter uh, where Ludo hunts the the possum. <laughs> could you please title the chapter Karma Cupcake? <laughs> just 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 for me, please. <laughs> yes. Karma. In I don't know ways, if I can too. trust this group anymore. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I can trust this group that's so hype about Darkwing. <laughs> 43 damage a turn, Darkwing. Very true. Man, it would be so sad if there was a villainous alter ego of, of Tarquin <laughs> and or I mean, Yes. That had been oh, made. I could and probably all. take you all. Yeah. Oh, it would be such a shame if there was one that had already technically been made canon at some point. Oh. That would be so mm. bad. Tarquin, you I mean, assume they're... Ludo would be anyway. on the other side. Right. <laughs> we can take the world. <laughs> <laughs> you, you meet Dario and he's super nice and you're like, wait, did we get the evil one? <laughs> I mean, if Tarquin goes berserk... I'm gonna start naming myself Dario. So <laughs> I'm going full mo full dark mode. <laughs> Ludo was just spending the entire day not knowing. Yeah. <laughs> For real. No, it's Darkwin. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. what do you mean? No, it was an accident. It's when he foaming at me. the mouth. Yeah. It's because he's excited. Now you're all going to die. Yeah. He no, he just got a little something little... there. Let me just. <laughs> he woke up yeah, a little exactly. grumpy, maybe, but you know. <laughs> And so far, he's keeping it together, but yeah. if things continue going in that direction, I don't know. <laughs> oh no, whatever mm. will we do? <laughs> oh, it's good stuff. That's right, yeah, Roxory. Right. It's, yes. it's player two, Tarquin. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow Tarquin. But yes, who is Tizu? What will happen at the theater? Will they go and appease Actilineth beforehand? And... Who is this friend that they also need to go and meet at some point? It's been a busy evening. We haven't quite had the time to get around to it. And will will we fix the most important issue? Some may argue, um, mostly Umberlai, uh, and be able to break the curse of glass armor. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess there's only one way to find out. Well Will Danny ever be able to run again? Oh. <laughs> yeah. You do have a carriage now, so that you know that does mediate the heavy feet a little bit. You I, will I gotta, be moving at a third gotta, of everyone else's regular speed. I got I got to clamber into the carriage. Oh, that's you just got to hitch a lift. You got to hitch a lift with someone, man. Hurry that's up, sweet. Danny! Jeez, come on! <laughs> Sorry. Plays, plays about to start. <laughs> No, oh, just, just go on without me. I can't make it. <laughs> just gets to the concert and needs to go to the loo like halfway through and you just hear the oh. thump, 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 or the heavy boots like <laughs> as he's making his way. Oh, I'm, I, I'm not going to be able to stealth anywhere. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> but y'all are going to meet Kentaganasta Abelard. Isn't that exciting? I, just for the name, yes. <laughs> Can't wait for all the wrong pronunciations. <laughs> <laughs> what wrong pronunciations from this group? Never. <laughs> for Kentaganesta Abelard, say it. Is yeah. yeah. And for Kentaganesta Abelard, yeah. I say it's it's easy. Uh -huh. I, I I still love that. <laughs> Clarison cobbles was like the most. Arbel garble, yeah. <laughs> Collapsing cables. <laughs> Bargain, Bargain. Hey, here's a fan! <laughs> this quarters. Oh my god. Uh, oh, Jesus. But yeah, that was a superb session. Big times. fucking GGs. Thank so, you for DMing. Yes. Oh, thank yeah. you guys for playing. And you great, got to see session. a little bit of the things I've been doing. 
whole ass tarot deck. <laughs> Just, you know, as, as as one casually does. <laughs> yeah, that was awkward, huh? That was, like, weirdly that, um, spooky, actually, huh? I, I wish I could be like, oh, actually, I, like, planted it for the question, but, like, no, no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Oh, I wouldn't, shit. I wouldn't do it, but it happened. Okay, let's, 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 uh, pull, should we pull the cards for next week and see what we get for next Ooh. week? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, who should we get to pick numbers? Um, pick pick three numbers between you. Just if you feel a number between one and twenty-three, shout it out. Seventeen. Again, the lucky seventeen. <laughs> it's my it's my number. Okay. Prime number, baby. Four. And four again. Interesting. We need one more. Nine. One. <laughs> one. So, Call the police. Nineteen. <laughs> nineteen. We can do nineteen. Where about this one? Okay. <laughs> skilled. I'm skilled. Oh. <laughs> now okay. I am too. First card. The Chimera. Ooh. Oh. So the Chimera. Chimera is keys. A... <laughs> a. I do love Chimeras. Um, the Chimera is the 18th in the um, in the list. Uh, multitasking, self knowledge, and adaptability. I would say I would say in terms of that's some given some like Voltron vibes, of you know the whole, the group as a whole and everyone's got their roles and it's just gonna come together, um, and create this beautiful monster. <laughs> They're gonna adapt to get through, which has already been done. More of the same. Um, that is that is hopeful. That is good. Okay, self knowledge. Maybe I can some totally self discovery. Totally see us in the chest of a megazord. Right. <laughs> okay, second card. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> the reversed three of mirrors. The Three of Mirrors is the seventh card. Um, when it's in its usual form, it gives off kind of self-worth, curiosity, and self-perception, which is very interesting considering the nightmare that uh, Tarvin just had. Um, so the reverse of uh, the Three Mirrors... <laughs> Again, perhaps linked slightly to Tarquin. Um, Trap, be, feeling trapped inside oneself, kind of also outside looking in, feeling alienated, and a lot of insecurity. Ooh. That is, because I already have a lot of next times planned, because we didn't get as far as I thought today, but thank god we didn't, because that was fucking incredible. Very interesting. Slightly freaked out again, not gonna lie. <laughs> and the third and final card. Ooh! Ooh! No! Ah! No! Stop it! Okay. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Reverse dueling harps. <gasps> Already, right? The musical theme? Already, just... <laughs> Fuck. Um, when in its normal form, the dueling harps represent chemistry, harmony, and rising to a challenge. The reverse of the dueling harps is ego, one-upmanship, and oh. overexertion into oneself. Mm -hmm. So we're getting a lot of kind of 
there's good teamwork going on, but there are individual pieces of this um, Breakfast Club Voltron where there's a lot of insecurity and that will manifest as outward egoism and uh, kind of losing oneself and feeling slightly alienated. I like that it. Is interesting and quite scary actually um <laughs> pretty cool looking, um looking forward to our dark wind era <laughs> didn't intend for that to be foreshadowing but i guess there we go <laughs> that fucking accurate okay i'm taking a picture of that That's weird. okay the, the universe knows that's actually again just slightly <laughs> <laughs> um, but to quickly bash through all the lists before we leave because I know people are probably very curious um, number one is the cherub number two is the advisor number three is the stargazer number four is the skyward heart five is the dueling harps six is the two tears seven is the three mirrors so we've got a lot of the beginning of the list already uh, eight is the Stuck Swords, one of my personal favorites. Um, nine is the Volcano. Ten is the Spire, which we've already seen in reverse. Eleven is the Grave. Uh, Twelve is the Fallen Log. Thirteen is the Ship's Bow. Fourteen is the Lost Song. Fifteen is the Winged Snake. Sixteen is... I can't count. Sixteen is the Music Box. Uh, Seventeen is the Skim Stone, another favorite, and we already pulled it. Uh, 18 is the Chimera, 19 the Silver Bell, 20 the Lantern, 21 the Hero, 22 the Knelt, as in someone who is kneeling, and 23, well, there's a fool of some sort in every pack. Mm. This pack has pandemonium. Mm. Oh, sounds so, fitting. Those are the cards. And I can't wait to do have not not enough have enough time to do the art for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's creepy though. I didn't expect it to be this like accurate. <laughs> what have I done? Um, yeah, exciting. <laughs> Meddling with powers beyond yeah. your comprehension. <laughs> right? Oh my god! Yeah, if you guys have like visual ideas for the deck, that would be super cool. I would love to see that. But yes, speaking of awesome, thank you guys for playing. Well, thank, well done and thank you to our wonderful players. Thank you and welcome as well to Daddy, aka Valfius. Yes. Hi. You can check him at the links that Scorpio has very kindly shared. Yes, I did, Roxury, because I'm, I'm an idiot. And then I painted over old business cards to, <laughs> to make them. <laughs> And I just want a little physical deck, it's really cute. Um, and uh, thank you all, of course, for coming along and supporting and chatting. It means the world. Once again, we are still at the brothel, so if you haven't checked out our coffee, um, where you can both support the adventure and redeem some very exciting prizes. Um, you're basically just paying for cool commissions. It's, it's not. It's like it's a. It's a deal. It's it's multiple multiple benefits. Um, and there's stuff in there like naming an NPC. If you want an NPC in this game that is named Crispy Bacon Bits, and they mm -hmm. work at the brothel, you can you can make it happen. You have the power to make that happen. Um, if you want a powerful arcane sword sent from the gods that is called crispy bacon bits you can absolutely do that um there are also uh arts and musics and also just a whole ass adventure you can you can just have a whole ass canonical one shot in the text adventure universe um which is pretty cool uh i think i hope <laughs> um <laughs> Freddy, 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 and Southam. There you go. You can make <laughs> that happen. Um, so give that a check out if you haven't already, if you're interested. Otherwise, we've got the Twitter for lots of freebies, and we'll be reposting your art. If you do art or any anything, if you're just like, Hey, that's cool. 
Um, tag us in it. Let us know. Don't be afraid to tag tag us in stuff. We want to see. It makes us so happy. I have cried a few times this week because of fan art. Um, <laughs> so keep that going if you want me to cry <laughs> in a good way. Um, and oh man, Mark and Mark is. Oh, I got some. <laughs> I got some. <laughs> Already on it. Wasting no time. <laughs> and of course, we also have. I forgot. Um, until I find a better home for it, we do also have. Um, the new narrative, uh, abridged, quick, easy access site where you can check out the story so far. Um, I'll slowly be uploading characters and stuff and things on there until I find a better place for it. Um, yeah. But other than that, has anyone got any final final words uh, for the chat before we depart for the unfortunate mortal realm before next week? Thank you so much for being oh, such a cool DM. Ah, yeah. It was meant to be mm -hmm. to everyone else, not me. <laughs> More the same. Thank you. Uh, do <laughs> be sure to share all of this. This is not just these sessions. This is many sessions and many past sessions and artwork and everything. There's a whole universe. And mm. I'm I'm so proud of Key, the producer. Yeah. I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a good It's bigger than this. It's bigger than this. There's more, more, more to come, and all the support helps. Yay, okay. Thank I've you. been happy to be a part of this. Yay. Same. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is my first real big taste of it, but it's, it's cool. I want more. <laughs> <laughs> well, good news. We'll be back next week. <laughs> Same time. What? That's crazy. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and and you can come back. We'll let you. Go on, then. Oh, you know, I, I'm actually shocked. I thought this would be my first and only session. <laughs> <laughs> well, thankfully, there are no fights today. So, But there's time. There's time. <laughs> but yeah, oh. support these wonderful Oh, you know, it players. just occurred to me. Nobody even knows what my weapon is yet. Nope. Oh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> You don't even know what one of your powers is yet. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh. It goes both ways. Um, it does. But yes, thank you for embracing. Speaking of embracing. How, um, how the turntables. <laughs> thank you all for embracing us and our chaos. And thank you for bringing your own chaos to us as well. We love to share in it with you. Um, you guys are all freaking amazing. Uh, we do see your names, even if we're high immersion. We see you popping up in chat. Um, I see you, V, in the YouTube comments. <laughs> I see you. Call her out. Everyone else, feel free to join in. I love seeing when people comment on YouTube. Just be like, Key told me to be here. I'm just <laughs> completing my homework. <laughs> I'm just. Look, I'm gonna wait for for V to comment, and then I'm gonna respond to that comment with, He sent me. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, you're America all... sends her regards. <laughs> um, you're all amazing. And until next week, take care. Look after yourselves. If you want a scary tarot reading, um, don't. And <laughs> and until next time. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Bye. everybody. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Sorry about Bye. the possum. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>